Okay, hello, this is Joe Vahexian, recording to you live from a nice New York station here with uh, <laughs> my fellow co-commentators from New York City, Wales, England, Portugal, and Italy, respectively. And we are here to have a look at the PS5 reveal show. So, Future gaming, as it's called. So, Ooh. folks, we shall see. Will Sony be able to retain the goodwill that they've gotten from the PS4? Or will they turn in a performance reminiscent of the infamous PS3 reveal? Only time will they be somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, are those the only two options in your mind, Jova? Oh, Honestly, obviously considering not. the price tag of this thing, yes, there are only two Play, options. Playing too much of Nintendo <laughs> Switch has created an internal Switch into him. It's all enough. Obviously, <laughs> I obviously I don't think in just absolutes, but we gotta speak dramatics for the audience. And whatever the hell Dwibs is doing in the Dwibs. background there. Dwibs is moving his furniture. He's getting ready to flip a table, I think. Yes. Yeah, if they don't announce Gran Turismo 7, I'm gonna wreck some well, shit. Well, I don't know yeah. about the go for Stephen Dorff. God damn it! <laughs> I don't yeah. know about the others, but I actually prepare my own bingo card that doubles down as a slightly uh, drinking game. Keep in mind, it's not too much, too hard stuff, so I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna still be lucid enough to follow what's going on. This isn't the fairy fencer FNL. No, well, no, no, no. I don't know about <laughs> yeah. Remember, remember, Shiro, the vodka yeah. is reserved for special occasions. Oh, well, guys. This is actually it, Teo. Now, Okamizuna will show up on stage and announce Fairy Fencer F2 exclusively on the PS5. That could be amazing. I don't know, but no, no, goes the bottom. Remember, Oh remember wait, hold Pedro. on, it's starting. Oh, it's starting. Yeah. Also, I for remember one... Pedro. Remember Pedro, Sony is a American company now. The joint doesn't exist anymore. I don't know about you guys, but it's I can't coming. wait for another Ridge so Racer. Oh, oh my what? god. This, Portal, Portal this is the cube. Oh, no. Yeah, I was going to say. So, so yes, as you may have noticed, we have one of our most Whoa. confident confidants. Uh, guest commentating, Degimon with us. I... What is going on? Well, it's a triangle for a start. Oh my god, is this a reference to that baby PS3 commercial? Oh god, <laughs> please it. no. I hope not. Oh, we're forming the, the shapes of the controller button. Yeah. First of all, the X button, not the cross. So I... So I wonder if Sony are going to address the controversy revolving around that <laughs> new controller. Oh, there is one. Yeah, I'll, 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 I think the controller looks fine, to be honest. A lot of people do not like the look of the PS5 controller. The color scheme does not work as well. Also, well, the button... It's a, it's a color scheme. It's it, Of course you're going to have there like, a There will be 50 variant. more variations in the future. It's come exactly to resolve that kind of problem. That, and apparently people don't like how it oh, looks there's, and blends. Oh, the, uh, no uh, 1994 High Cloud, 2000, oh, right. Jack, 2006, God, that year was terrible. War. 2013. And there's a more Warrior Monster, Wipeout, and Baseball, Twisted Metal. Oh, Mortal Kombat, Knack, Gwai. Oh, oh, yes, but you see the PS4 logo showing off what the PS4 games were like. This means we're going to get Knack free. Yes. Can we not? <laughs> can we can not? Can do it. Can we stop buying bad games just for memes, please? This coming never, from the guy who wants a mighty that, number no, nine. No. Oh, Persona. <laughs> Exactly. We're part of the problem. Like I say this as someone who buys Jante games despite me not liking that series. Like, I, like I said, it's coming from the guy who wants a Mighty Number no. 9 sequel. Those are some I actually enjoy them. Alright, whatever. Let's not get Good for that, you. Please. More power Rockstar. to you. Rockstar. 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 GTA 6, sir? So? GTA 6? Wouldn't that be quite something? No, that's GTA 5. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's 5, actually. Oh, oh let me uh, guess. Grand Theft Auto 5. For the multiplayer. Let me guess. A port to PS5. Even though that wouldn't make sense because from what we've heard, the PS5 is supposed to be backwards compatible. Well, let's see what maybe, it'll be in, maybe it's enhanced? Well, is, yeah, you, you guys have, you have played the game. Like, are those actual cutscenes from the game <laughs> or is something new? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. The camera angle's a bit different, but yes. So I'm guessing this is. Yeah, <laughs> what, 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 let's just say. It's showing the PS4 logo in the corner though, so maybe it's not meant to be. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 
Weird way to start off a PS5 show, but let's see where this goes. Is this game good? I haven't played GTA games. Yeah. The best game yeah. Wait, 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 what? Did I just see flying cars all of a sudden? I think this is the online bit yeah. they're showing. The uh, online component is all the weird yeah. shit. So. Also, uh, this will if, if it is GTA 6, it'll be the first one in years without Dan Hauser as a writer. I know, right? That worries Top me down, a bit, yeah. but that, that worries, me, worries me a bit, but whatever, we'll see how it goes, I guess. GTA 5! Okay. Expanded in the next. Yeah. Coming 2021 to... Oh, it's a PS5 port. Again! Okay. Isn't the PS5 supposed to be backwards compatible? What's even the well, point? Well, it's in hand. Well, they said to not to everything. Oh, th there's the new controller. We'll get GTA Online. PS5 only will get GTA Online launch in 2021. Starting oh, today, GT5 PS4 owners get one million dollars in GT cash every month. Cash every month until it launches. An incentive oh, to play the multiplayer, cool. basically. I, I, I don't really use the multiplayer, but yeah, it'll be it's good for those who do. That's nice. Blue, blue I'm sky. Blue, da, 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 Stop it! Da, 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 <laughs> but I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, they're being artsy again. Well, well this is going to happen in between each Jim Ryan. Hey, uh, Jim. Gonna be the Willie's guy there. Nothing wrong with that. No, I know, it's just, I hope he's okay. PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue. Someone said it best. GTA 5 is the new Skyrim. <laughs> it's still not the new Resident Evil 4, though. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure it's outsold that. No, no. No, I mean, to be ported everywhere. Exactly. What have Rockstar been doing lately? Red Red Redemption well, they, plus they lost, plus they lost their most well-known writer. Yeah. To create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound. Well, so yeah, PlayStation's owned by a Brit, so uh, yay. <laughs> or ran by a Brit, I should say. Uh, we, we're, we're not, not going to it. get the uh, we're not going to get the British it. people's the, desk the, count, the, though. The, unfortunately, the, no. The, the, pres the president of Sony PlayStation is Studios. All right, uh, let's see. It's a, it's a ah. The Japanese what will come these? after you with katanas for suggesting that the British own Sony. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a gauntlet. Is this Spider-Man? Hey, it's yeah, it's Miles Morales. Yeah, it is. It. Oh, oh it so like Insomni Insomniac Spider-Man sequel. Yes, awesome. Oh, oh, Miles Morales! Miles Morales. Well, it makes sense considering what we saw. You were set up in the first game. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Nice. Yes, awesome. And he's the protagonist, Ben. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our playable um, Into the Spider Verse movie, then. Oh! Interesting gadgets by the looks Neon of it. Uh, type. Let me remember. It seems like it's going to be its own story, though, so it's just interesting. I think it's going to be a sequel still, by the looks of Let's it. Let's see. We, just, we can't just call it Spider Man 2 because Spider Man, Spider -Man Miles, Miles, Miles Morales. Miles, 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 Miles. Be easy enough. But be yourself. I don't want, yourself. Yeah, I think it works for the better because Insomniac with this is basically testing the capabilities of a PS5 without having to go full throw. Hey! Katsunori Yamauchi. Oh, is oh, oh, Yes. I guess I'm getting a PS5 day one then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to, of course, wait and see how it turns out because getting a console. So, yeah, uh, for those who, does have its for those who don't know, um, for those who don't know, this is a guy who runs uh, Polyphony, and he's an actual race car driver as well as a video game developer. So, yeah. hmm. PlayStation so, Studios. So, so, yeah, Grand, pr most likely Gran Turismo Seven. Maybe. Well, let's, let's have a look. How was Gran Turismo Six anyway? It was okay. Not the best. Well, there was Gran Turismo Sport before this. Which was again fine. For next year. Um, from what I've heard. Hmm. 
Wow, this is great outdoor footage. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Dweebs, uh, you know, when, when for a game like Gran Turismo or Forza is all important, the environment and how detailed the car looks inside. Gran, Gran Turismo, Turismo is back, back baby. Which is... Uh, there you go, Dweebs. There we are. Well, it'd you. be more my... Oh, it's not just me as well. My brother's a huge Gran Turismo fan. Do you two race regularly against each other? Well, he doesn't live with me anymore, but... Um, yeah, we used to. Hmm, he always cool. kicked my ass, but yeah. <laughs> See, do I have to go More like GTFO7. Oh, am I right? Ooh. Back oh. to GT Town. Tio, 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 it's only meant to that because we are getting a game called GTFO eventually. Uh, I see. Basically, in all the other Gran Turismo games, aside from sport, there's a mode called Gran Turismo mode, which is basically you living the life of a race car driver, buying your cars, upgrading them, progressing high into the into the racing pyramid so by like getting licenses. So essentially, a sort of the campaign, campaign mode. A campaign mode. A campaign mode, a campaign mode basically. Yeah, it's, it's, this has been around since the first game. I know. Except now it's called ET World. And I think other other race, similar racers like Need for Speed or Burnout, tried to have their own versions of that feature. Question well, mark. burnout. Well, burnout's not really. Well, Gran Turismo is more about realism okay. compared to burnout. Mm -hmm. I think a more accurate comparison would be Forza. It looks good. It looks like Judging, it'll play keep well. in mind the f fresh live reaction only. But this footage seems genuine, not really scripted. Well, they don't well, I mean, have to show anything on stage, so uh, so it doesn't. It's not that hard for them to just have someone play yeah, the game, record the footage, really. Well, no, 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 I don't, I don't like mean that, Pedro. I mean, in a sense, I can definitely I get the idea that someone is actually playing this instead of being a, a, an elaborate cutscene that makes it look like someone is playing. Not only that, Pedro, but even with the direct style, a lot of companies will sometimes mm -hmm. fake played footage or just script. Yeah, like, like going back to the PS4 reveal, <laughs> deep down, the deep down reveal was. Oh, Ratchet and Clank, I think. That's the, that's the art style. Or maybe Pretty. something in the same art style. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with new IPs. No, exactly. Unless it's Snack. Oh, yeah, it's Ratchet yep, and Clank. Yeah, that's Ratchet and Clank. Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Now, yeah, can we get some Ew. Ew. Now, new Ew. game? Ew. Ew. Ratchet what? and Clank. Ew. So, new <laughs> game or... Now can we make we... of two. Just please let so it what, be. Are just... Insomniac pulling double duty? Now please. Yeah, they 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 mentioned the they 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 mentioned they split into two teams, please, but please, yeah, definitely. Please please, 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 please let this better, be better than the PS4 reimagining game. That one. Looks like an entirely new game. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember this Ooh, particular. Oh, dimension system. hopping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is not a remake of 2, no, this is definitely something... That's the thing, uh, Nexus did end it with a very open end, so yeah, and they, that, that effect does remind the fact that the, um, the gizmo that has been used in the future saga is still active, but a bit broken, so it would fit. So do you think they'll make this a sequel to the reimagining, and or...? Not, and not a real reboot. Well, let's see. We'll we'll see the title soon enough. So, so maybe, maybe that's exactly it. Maybe because of some fans. Oh, not the pirates again. Imagine, <laughs> to go back to the original timeline, most likely. I no, would hope not so. separation. Overall, so the main gimmick of this game and seems Clank to be that dead. you can hop to different worlds in the flick of an eye. Interestingly enough. Yeah. Oh, so now once again, Ratchet and Clank are separated and to find each other, like in. A couple of titles. Oh, oh no, uh, an alternate so... reality with Dr. Nefarious what? 1. Okay. Rift apart. Rift apart. Rift apart. With a female Lombax. So we have basically so... an alternate dimensions so plot. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and maybe we might hear more about it now. So excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It already looks. Oh no! This is the Sonic Forces of Ratchet Clank. It already looks. It already looks. It already looks better than the. You can create your own custom Lombax for your character. Yeah, I would. You know, joke, but yeah, this already looks much more interesting, actually. Yes, I was about to. Anyway, as I was about to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As I was about to say, already looks miles better than the reimagining. Well, that's a thing.
Ratchet and Clank are no, as in actually being subject. endearing. I can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Did you see that? S5 can only do so much more than the 4. It can just polish a bit more everything and make anything run smoother with more sorry, details in the background, but that's it. Mm. Ah. ah, that's interesting. Pre alpha footage. But of course. <laughs> Die. <laughs> ah, finally. Well, if, if you if you listen to the maker of uh, diaries of, of the very first game, Insomniac, when creating a series, always had one thing one thing in goal: blow shit up. And yes, we do say that in interviews. Wait, wait, wait. oh, so in that's fun though. So Insomniac have two major titles coming: the Spider-Man sequel yeah. and this new Ratchet and Clank. Well, they do have two teams. So. Of course, yeah. yes. I guess I guess this too is like um, a showcase that Sony wants to put to, to say, see, we can make sure that our teams are working on multiple at the same time and deliver an experience or something. So it's a bit like uh, Bioshock Infinite with the alternate realms gimmick. Except you can interject time. constantly. Yeah, yeah, I actually understand what you mean. Well, it kind of has to work like that too. Um, in the same way that Monolith Soft helped out make Breath of the Wild while still making Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So. Oh, and, that, and well, not only if has a history of doing that, uh, because I don't remember how many teams they have at this point, but yeah, they've been done a lot of stuff uh, at the same time. So yeah, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, looks good. There's no innuendo in the name, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> okay, did the PS4 reimagining really damage your view of, Je of Ratchet and Clank that much, Dedge? Well, keep in mind that the first game I played was Size Matter, so it's yeah. Not, if you, ah, it's, not if you, best, it's not the best first impression. It's good if you have wise, the, but the writing is... If you have a PS3, get no, the... No, I don't, I, don't, I don't like the gameplay in Ratchet 4. PS4. Oh, oh yeah. Square Enix. Oh, hold, hold it, hold it. Oh. Let's see what this is. God forbid. Oh, it is, yes. it's, the, it's the AAA game made by the Luminous team. Okay. In, a, wor in a world. Not, not a world. world. Not a world. <laughs> Where resolve will be tested. Yes. Okay, oh, one of you guys just do it. Truths will be questioned. Most likely a new IP. And devotions will be doubted. <laughs> she will rise. No. And it's not Tomb Raider. Thank God. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I think Happy Crystal died. That makes it out of the oh, case. Is this, uh, oh, crap, dear. Is this from the tech demo? A new philosophy? Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, what? Please, no. Project, Project Athia. Athia. Yeah. She looked a bit like the, the the woman from from Agnes Philosophy, though. Uh, history lesson here. Uh, hold on, I will tell you. A tech demo. That's pretty much it. Uh, designed exclusively for PlayStation Five. All right then. Sure. Ah, uh, these are the transitions in between. There was a tech demo that Sony had to show off what the PS4 could do. Yeah. However, it never materialized into anything, and that main character looked suspiciously like the main character from that tech demo. Basically. What is Was this? there like a lot of huge this? demand for it to be made? Uh, oh, I'm pull that. Well, it, hold on, I'll explain it later. Actually, I know the studio, but I forgot to specifically what the RIP humans. Rest in peace, humans. Rest in pepperonis. Well, this can't be the aftermath of Destroy All Humans. No. That's THQ Nordic, Joe. <laughs> yeah. No escape. I'd from say reality. The, you know, that robot looks suspiciously like that bot from Record, but it can't be that either. It actually reminds me instead of one of the robots from that one of the shorts of Love Death Robots, the Netflix series. So that's the human, that's their equivalent of barber shops, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, a cat. 
whatever that is. With a jetpack, I don't know. Like a weird and harness. That's a, and that's an emoji, but... Yeah, is this, this actually bad... has a lot of similarities to that short. Wow, the, the bad ending of Persona 5 is a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> so what, do we play as the cat? Yeah, more, 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 more Connor is the only one left. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> oh, apparently we do? We play oh. as a cat. Shut up. Sweet! <laughs> Stray. Stray. Okay, so... Okay, there you go, Shiro. There's your PS5 game. <laughs> Some we play the... as the cat. <laughs> 2021. I there guess we'll have to figure out more about that later, but yes. I mean, honestly, there are actually um, there's there is actually um, an amount of media that is told like it's looking at the human world through a cat's eyes. Yeah. Okay, I'll give hey, Sony this. These... Okay, I think Japan has quite a bit of that, actually. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give Sony this. These transitions are a lot better than those stupid Dreams transitions that they tried to do. 4K Ultra E3 HD Blu ray. 2018. Yeah, Ultra yeah, no. high speed SSD. Specs, so. Not describing the, skip, the specs of the console yet. Yeah. Ray, Ray tracing. Ray tracing. But, uh, but does, does it have less processing? I think not. Well, it sucks then. It isn't worth eight hundred dollars. Haptic <laughs> feedback. Whatever the hell that means. There it is, the PS5 controller. A lot of people are a bit off about the shape of it and the triggers as well. Oh, that pretty triggers like the one on the PS3. Does that USB really port. Need to be Motion sensor, of course. Built-in microphone and speaker headset jack. Jack, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. 3D audio, yeah. Which is a CD, Mark, which... Mark's already talked about the 3D audio, yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. Hey. <laughs> hold, hold on, Teo. First, we need to show you all these cool animations our developers if, made. If, if this leads to a Kuru... If this leads to a Kuru Shi remake, I'm fine with that. Allow me, allow me. Uh, Herman Hulse, for those who don't know, was the head of Gorilla Studios. Uh, and he's been recently promoted to the head, to new head of Sony's Worldwide Studios. So let's see if we get a little uh, Dutch courage um, into the Worldwide Studios now. Yes. Paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Ah, a lot of people stories, like that term, paradigm shift. Great gameplay. It Not sounds fancy. No. <laughs> surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for World War Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation Five. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's mm. see what you got. Ahmed, so far so good with this presentation. Well, yeah. they're just following game after game after game, and that's how you should do it anyway. So let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, how's Mark? I actually know these guys. I was planning on recording a game of them recently. Actually, they're the guys who made shoot a particular type of shooters, and did actually an EP for Ubisoft, uh, more recently called Outland. Hmm. They're specialized so, in the contrast between uh, you know two different type of power. So would this drive. be a so would this be a second party oh, exclusive? God. Well, we'll see. Most, most likely. Boy, the sequel to Gravity looks interesting. <laughs> this is this is this is Gravity the bad ending. You know, you know, you know. You know. Press, uh, press the touch screen to have uh, the ghost of George Clooney with a jetpack telling you what to do. You know, she does <laughs> kind of look like a cartoonified Sandra Bullock in some angles. Maybe they're trying to make something akin to some. Oh, oh! Looks like the Martian. Looks like the Martian there for a bit. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say it's seems... the, the one with Matt Damon. It seems yeah. almost like a third person No Man's Sky of sorts. Honestly, the presentation reminds me a lot of homages to sci-fi. A lot of sci-fi movies. Yeah. Like, like there's a bit of influence from Prometheus of all things. So Basically, yeah, it's gonna be a video game that's akin to those Lost in Space type of movies. Wait. Oh. Bizarre okay. aliens. Okay. If this is if this is Lost in Space, then where's William Hurt? Not anymore, dweebs. Get him with the times. Now there's the uh, Netflix series. Yeah. William Hurt in the MCU now, dweebs. So he has no time for. Much to my chagrin. Uh, I think he's fine as Ross, to be honest. It could be worse. Should have been Sam Elliott, damn it. True, but I think he's still fine. Returnal. 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 What kind of a name is that? It's like Return it's and thing. Eternal. Eternal, yeah. Yeah, get it? Yeah. Returnal. Uh, uh, <laughs> this game, this game is like really Returnal. It sounds like a weird way to describe an infinite loop. 
But yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like I said, for as trippy as these transitions are, I'll take them over the Dreams ones from the E3 2018 one. What is it now? Uh, Sumo oh, Digital. Sumo Digital. Digital. Oh, okay. This should be interesting. Let's see. Oh. It's a um, what? tiger. What? A tiger mascot? It's funny. Tiger because... Oh my god. The Kellogg's, the Tony from what? Kellogg's Frosties is getting oh his own god. game. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks like the tiger from my college. <laughs> uh, for the... It's oh, tiger. God. What the fuck? Or is it's this a little big planet? planet. Oh, oh, little big planet. Oh, little big planet. Yeah, that's why I just. Cool. Shark Boy, a big adventure. Oh. 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 Is it a spin oh, off? So it's a, a spin off game. Oh, so it's a more traditional plat 3D platformer with Sackboy. Oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so they're, they're pulling a chibi of a Whiplash. Sorry, Dad. It's coast, but no cigar. You wanted a little bit Planet 4? No, no, no. I, I, just found, I just found it hilarious, that's all. Like, uh, got him. Uh, I'm not sure okay with this. I mean, with, with, with Dreams uh, taking over for what the little planet did, uh, it's cool that they keep Sackboy alive by having him in a, a more traditional type of platformer. So, so is this going cool. to be Sony's new it's, it's, did people Did people like Free? Because I remember since no, that was... Free, free, no. Free wasn't, wasn't very good. But if Sumo Digital is going to make a, a game that's more akin to what they, they're good at, that's, it should, this one should be better. So, so is this so going to be... So is this going to be so, their new attempt at a Mario killer? Well, so, I have to admit to it, Job, it's a much better attempt than Mac already. So can we, um, <laughs> can we have either Hugh Laurie or Stephen Fry do the narration? Yes, I want that too, please. No way, I thought Ratchet and Clank was uh, PlayStation's Mario. No, 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 no. Ratchet and Clank were more their Zelda rather That's than Mario. Job, uh, sci fi would say Metroid. That's a pain job, but back in the PS2 era, the Dark Cloud games were regarded by fans as the Zelda yeah. of PlayStation. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I say the Zelda, I mean like sort of like the number two, but not number one oh, franchise headliner-wise. Like Ratchet and Clank were there, oh, but they wow, weren't okay. as big as Jack and Dexter, which was considered the Mario of PlayStation at the time. Alright, cool. Uh, this, uh, this is going to be the new uh, exclusive to Xbox okay. thing. Well, there you go, Terry. A cartoony free Lucid, platformer. But... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you're probably uh... happy about that being a thing. Hold on, what is this? Uh... A hot topic game by the looks of it. <laughs> I mean, one's wearing a fursuit, so Tio. Um... <laughs> Why are you asking me, Shiro? I don't know, I just thought you might have an opinion. <laughs> yo, 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 this is the crew here. Oh, it's oh. a car combat. Wait. Oh, cool. I actually like these kinds of games, so cool. Well, it doesn't really seem to have... We're never getting level. another Twisted Metal game again. Yeah, I think this is not. <laughs> oh, poor Twisted Metal. That game stuff... Wait, hold on. Wait, so it's both a car demolition, but also a It doesn't... But it doesn't seem... It, it seems to be more traditional car demolition. It doesn't seem to be using weapons. The cars don't, don't so have weapons on, on their own. As well? Yes, yes, yes. It looks like you can have, like, close quarters combat with each other as well. Interesting. So maybe this is the spiritual successor to Twisted Metal. Well, it seems to be built more for the for multiplayer. Well, Twisted Metal did have a story, so of sort. Who knows? Maybe this will have its own campaign mode. Well, I couldn't tell you just from the first pre first presentation at all. These characters are not really compelling to my eye. And the gameplay looks fun, though. I will say this. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you don't really play games like this for characterization. Yeah, that doesn't mean you shouldn't try to make the characters endearing, though. Destruction All Stars. Destruction All Stars. Alright. Okay. Okay, then. Interesting name. Next. And so you see. <laughs> PlayStation <true> City. <laughs> oh my god, a PlayStation <laughs> City. Can you imagine? Is it any less ridiculous than WWE City? We're from Ember Lab. We're from Ember Lab. Uh, Ember Lab. Anybody yeah. here knows who Ember Lab are? Checking. Uh, We're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. Oh. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Right, Show us so. what you got then. Oh, it looks so adorable. Oh. This is gonna be this is gonna be a dark Yo, and edgy game, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna go to shit very soon. Yeah. Oh no, they're making a Smurfs movie. No. Uh, 
La 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 la. <laughs> Please shut up. Please no. <laughs> Why anyway, I couldn't find that. They seem to be either upcoming or not too famous. Meditate in the name of the true way. Huh. <laughs> this looks very interesting. Yeah, like it's like a, you know what this reminds me of. It reminds Kubo? me of, a lot of not just Kubo, but like um, it reminds me of a lot of stuff. Like for example, the art style in particular feels okay. Okay, the the way the girl is drawn reminds me of the art style of of um, Beyond Good and Evil. I guess. Uh... Ah. You have no power here. Oh. Yes, 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 Kingdom Hearts intro. <laughs> so, I just hope this isn't as oh, combo. Oh, no, you, you have to drag on the fuzzies. <laughs> it's, sorry, it's an action. Well, I've got to have some kind of comic relief. Uh, oh, so character. it's similar to Pikmin. Like, you guide them, you have them doing stuff <laughs> oh. for you to solve the puzzles. That actually looks pretty cool. I, I'm so, is this is dark and edgy Pikmin then. I mean, isn't Pikmin already pretty screwed up? Like a lot of Nintendo things, just yeah. under guys well, being the, very the, 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 the Nintendo ways to have that more, you know, in between the lines. This seems to be more direct. Mm -hmm. I actually, I'm actually really more interested in this one. This one looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Uh, Kena. Kena. Oh, Kena, Kena, Bridge Kena. of the Spirits. Wow, it's yeah. really oh. similar to Kubo. That's a, that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. So what's next? And we're only like uh, halfway, for, oh, not like what thirty minutes in. Wow. And this is supposed to be apparently wow. two hours. So PS5 Wait, it really? looks really on stage. Oh, wow. Apparently. Ooh. What is this? Uh, oh, oh, oh pretty an good. anime I game. Love... It's an anime. Some... Well, I do love me some hand-drawn animation, so. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Oh, I've seen these style and character design somewhere else. I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. It's like an anime arthur. Is this is this is this realistic, my little Oh, I guess Sorry, this I is. I, I, I guess this is uh, you know Earth where dinosaurs evolved into anthropomorphic species instead of you. Oh, I get it. So this is the world of the Super Mario Brothers movie. This is oh, the, this is the... <laughs> Except this is probably a lot more interesting. Good Bible. Well, yeah. Like that's hard. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna sing about who I truly am, and I'm gonna show my Good true time. side to you. I imagine coming of age story with existential drama. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, and it's cool. Uh, goodbye. Uh, okay, no, I. Oh, goodbye. just uh, with the, with the, with the title <laughs> of the diary. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's the end of an era. Oh wait, let me guess. Let me guess, let me guess. It's about dinosaurs and students, but they have to face their own extinction anyway by the end of the <laughs> It's like the end of the dinosaur <laughs> show. <laughs> that would actually be quite interesting, though. Dark as fuck, though. Yeah, I like that. Although we haven't seen anything of the gameplay, so we don't know if it's like a visual novel or like, you know, 2D. Oh, mm -hmm. oh holy crap, Oddworld? Yeah, I think we're gonna show Soulstorm. Wait, wait, possibly. wait, wait, hold on, hold on. That's a third party release, though. Well, we have we had a lot uh, previously, Jova. I, I know, but this means that there may be a shot of Crash actually showing up, but they are showing third party releases. <laughs> You're realizing that just now. Well, I'm just saying, the chances weren't the biggest before, but now seeing. Okay, Green it's Avengers, either Soulstorm or yeah, the Oddworld. next chapter. Uh, or There's the next Oddworld chapter. Game. No, no, we've already mentioned it's they're doing a, a remake of the second game called Soulstorm. And yeah, I think it's Soulstorm. Yeah, it's Soulstorm, all right. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people rests with you. Yeah, no, no joking. Abe is literally the Christ figure of his world. Yeah. I'll go and for he's a bit of an idiot. So, will this be as good as that Jesus Christ Simulator game? While not, first, <laughs> while not a first party game, a lot of PS1 owners played Oddworld back in the day. Not just that, uh, the Soul Star was already confirmed to be multiplayer anyway. So, yeah. But this is actually probably the first time we see an actual game. I, I can definitely understand why Sony would get some marketing uh, deal with their developers, though, because 
because uh, PlayStation owners uh, have a lot of memories yeah. about this series. Hell, 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 not just PlayStation owners, but even Nintendo owners. Like, there's a reason that Nintendo, back when the Wii U was a thing, secured exclusive rights for Oddworld New and Tasty. True. So yeah, this will probably... Well, I, I got on PS4. So yeah, this will probably be multi but still a good no, showing. No, it's, it's already, it already is, Drover. I just, I just get, I just wonder if it's like, just like PS5 presentation. That's all. Keep in mind, again, this is the first time we see in proper gameplay of this remake. So it's like a first, tra first trailer look at it. Tango Game Works. Uh, so, how are you doing here? Oh, it's probably, are we it's probably the, the next IP that Bethesda is doing uh, from it from Tango, the one that will showcase at E3. Oh, yeah, one of For the few things that Bethesda hasn't screwed up. Ghostwire Tokyo, X, there you go. Oh, I've Resident heard. Evil, Shinji Mikami was the creator of the original Resident Evil game. Yeah. Ghostwire Tokyo. Didn't we hear about this game somewhere before? E3 next year, adorable. Which unfortunately is not working anymore. The project. Yeah. The good news well, is that she yeah. seems to be best friend with if AD, I correctly, Joba, Kamiya. If I remember correctly, Joe, but didn't Shinji Mikami work on the original Ace Attorney trilogy at some yes. point? Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. He was around okay. for one, two, and I think this maybe three. So, Is he a producer said... or something? Okay, okay, okay. Basically, Pedro, originally Ace Attorney was worked on the big great six. There were Shuji yeah, Kumi, yeah, sure. uh, Hideki Kamiya, Shinji Mikami, and I forget the other three, but I think that they're actually, also Capcom veterans. Actually, there's, oh, I, think no. the actually there's, I think the producer of the series was uh, Inafune, because at the time he was like Capcom. I'm not quite sure he was the producer. He was the head of it. But okay, by Apollo Justice, yes, he was the producer. I don't know if he was for the original trilogy, but there is a chance he was probably. Oh, it's involved first person. It still. A first person. Go around, find ghosts and yokais by beating the shit out wow, of them. Wow, wait, wait, hang on. We're in Tokyo and we're still. Yes, Dweebs, it's actually a common thing. Persona 5 didn't premiere that. Hey guys, <laughs> yeah. hey guys, imagine this. Shinji Mikami making a horror-based game. Who would have imagined that? Well, that was the intention. Remember, well, Jova, he was also behind the, the two evil within as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he... I try to negotiate with anyone, we're just going to beat the shit I'm, out of I'm actually generally <laughs> surprised Bethesda allowed Tango to actually develop a new metal and the shit out of the, the evil within again. The unknown. I mean, this is one I've actually been looking forward to. Ghostwire right. Ghost Tokyo. Wire, Tokyo. Looks, looks cool. Coming in 2021. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, that looks neat. Fester. I assumed it would be third person, though. Me too. Hello. Try yeah. something different. These are almost like the transitions you get before a movie in the theater. You know, I can't help but... It does fit with oh, Sony, oh, huh? Oh, is, is that the uh, order? Is that the symbol of the order or something? Oh, God. <laughs> you know... I'd be re it'd be oh, really crazy oh, if they mind. try that uh, again. Oh, never, never uh, mind. It's not. You know, I can't help but wonder if originally I'm... Sony was going to... This is unsettling. You know, I can't help but wonder if Sony was originally going to showcase this in their E3, if, you know, E3 had been happening Super this Brothers? year. Super Brothers? Super well, Brothers. Well, we'll never know, Java. What? What is this? The dark counterpart to Super Mario Brothers? I think that was the <laughs> name of the team. Yeah. No, but we're not the Super Mario Brothers, we're just the a, Super Brothers. The future for, 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 a, for a people, uh, sorry. Haunted by so basically, in, propelled by dreams. Okay, so basically, Interstellar, the video game, or something. What? what? Okay, all that's Music missing. By Hans Zimmer. All that's missing is Year the theme zero. from 2001: The Space like Odyssey. It, it does. Year zero, year one. one. Oh, okay. Now we're two. moving. Okay. Man, these years go by fast. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, it's just it, so okay. uh, That's the power of editing, I guess. Uh, uh oh, that was Passengers the video game. <laughs> no. So okay. this is, I guess it's kind of like Spore, like you start from a planet and you need to see others. Uh, is that No Man's Sky? Or is that just like No Man's Sky? I already said that. <laughs> uh, uh. 
One T O. Life. The the great mystery. Chat. The Gen farce. Gen the farce. The yeah. the I'm farce. incredibly confused. Same. It looks like Holiday no. Holiday 2020. It looks like, it looks no, like no Man's Sky. Yeah, it, Super Brothers and Pine Scented. I don't know who these. Wow, that looks like a Songs and Sounds by Skunt for Kid. Wow, that was weird. That was weird, yeah. Moving on. Moving on, I guess. Alright, so what's next? By I the think way... it's another montage time. Oh, by oh, the gearbox. Oh, gearbox. Huh? oh it's, um. Oh, uh, the game that we, they had the game that we show at the yeah, Game Awards last year. Yeah, I'm really looking for. I actually think this game looks pretty good. I'm, I've been looking forward to it. It's uh, it's a um, console exclusive to the PS5. Actually, it's really on, it has also a PC version. That's why I said too, console exclusive. Oh, in, okay, so. sorry. Timed or permanent? Yeah, definitely a Gearbox have, title. Considering this soundtrack is used for the trailer. Well, they, they haven't said anything, they just uh, the, develop, the publisher only announced it for PS5 and PC, but they didn't announce anything about time deals or anything. Anyway, in, ter in terms of its popularity, despite the controversy, the PS5 controller does have Genjinka art of it and porn of it. Well, Joe, the console tons are a thing. Eh? Yeah. Why don't you make porn out of a controller? Dave's, uh, Dave's, you're on the internet and in current here. Stop asking Mark, questions like no that. Way, no way, Dave's. Mark will find the way. <laughs> Mark, no. Well, you know, to an extent, you have to admire the creativity of some people. Okay, okay, okay. There are two main. Let us see the positive of this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, there are two main variants to how you make porn of a controller. First, you draw it as an actual, well. Sometimes a guy, but more often than not, you draw oh, as an like anime girl. Game, huh? The other way, you just physically uh, oh, somehow. Far away yeah. From the, the other way, you somehow draw genitalia again onto the controller. Board, and a porn again. Oh? Like a hyperlight drifter. Yeah, it has a similar art style. It's an indie. Okay. I wonder if it's in the same. Well, hyperlight universe. drifter was an indie. I don't know if it's if this one is gonna be too. It looks like a female version of the hyperlight drifter. Protagonist. Yeah, it's getting a show on Netflix. It I is? don't know. Yeah, it's made by the same guy who did the Castlevania series. Huh. Oh, isn't isn't the same the Bohem like next project to the uh, Devil May Cry Western yeah. show? Okay. Oh. Uh. Well, fuck you too then. <laughs> and well, well, he's dead. <laughs> Well, that happened. What was the Final Fantasy game that had the void in it? Uh, three, five, and a couple of others as subtext. I mean, the one that had that guy in it who was obsessed five. with the void. Yeah, this is a this is this is a, this is what X Death becomes after he goes into the void. Whoa! Notice my directing. We solar ass. I mean ash. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what that's what people will be calling it if it turns out to be a bad game. More like solar ass. <laughs> I was going to say solar trash. Like solar trash. Yes, yes, yes. More yes. like belongs in the trash. Yes, 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 yes. yes <laughs> Fair yes. enough. Yes, 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 children. Now come along. We have the next thing to look at. Let's see. Jova, you're the youngest out of all of us. And yeah. yet sometimes I'm the most this? mature. Oh, Desi is oh? never mind. A new game is Oh, I thought, I thought... Is this Hitman? 101? No, IO Interactive, yes, yeah, Hitman. Oh, there you go, there's another game for you. <laughs> wow, wow, this conference has something for everybody, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Good they have a game made specifically for Shiro, two games made specifically for Dwebs. Shit. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> oh okay, this is the classic trailer that cutscene trailer that showcases what the gameplay capabilities are like. One thing, I, one thing I'd like to say, one thing that I'm particularly really uh, impressed about is the variety uh, of the cut that they've shown so far. Like, not just one type of thing, like, uh, they've been showing stuff from pretty much everything. They've shown a racing game, they've shown a platformer, they've shown uh, action adventure Hitman 3. Hitman 3. Is this from WB as well? 
death over I don't know. Well, let's well, check if the credits are mentioned. Well, you're the Hitman expert, you tell us. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. So, 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 since, so, since Square sold the IP back to um, IO, oh, there he is. the games have been I'm published by rock. Square. No, no, not Warner Brothers. Warner sorry. Bros. But it's not like we own the IP. IO still has the, the control. It's just that Warner Bros. is helping. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the oh, it's a it, it it's a basically a conclu conclusive trilogy. So basically, uh, after this, uh, another reboot. Hmm? Did uh, did Hitman two hit on some kind of cliffhanger or something? In Dubai. I don't know. Well, when I say hit, when I say, well, I never said I was a Hitman expert. I just dipped in and out every so often to see what was happening. It's bit, bit, well among us. I think he's still the more knowledgeable anyway. Mm -hmm. So I after, guess this is the target. So after this game, reboot then. Well, already the the, the first of this trilogy was a reboot. It's similar. The situation oh God, was similar uh, to the one of uh, Tomb Raider. Oh my God, the guys! Could you imagine if they it's... announced Half Life Three in on this thing? Uh, good luck with that. Half Life is a predominant. Not just that. PC not just that. Franchise. It's more associated with like the one time Valve tried the console ports was with the orange box and nobody cared. Uh -huh. okay. All Death right. awaits. Next. See, important <laughs> they saved the settings menu. menu. Okay. Uh, oh, they're gonna show the, um, the is UI. This is the UI. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yes, it's the PlayStation button. Yeah, girl, click the fucking button, dude. Or, That's the or, 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 oh, that's oh, the that's a little bit of it. All right. So is this gonna be one other VR or an actual console? Well, we know the PS5 is gonna have uh, FBR, VR, yeah. too, so, and so we need to showcase something for so, it. So, so, so make it. Uh, Astrobot is regarded by fans as the best game on PSVR. It's basically a 3D platformer, as you can see. And the creator of this game is actually the head of Japan Studio. So, pray tell, how does this game you use the VR? Astro's Playroom. I haven't actually played it myself, but uh, pe uh, uh, people Absolutely. who played it say it's great. Huh, so. No word on if it's a VR game, though. Well, we'll learn more in the future, I suppose. It looks cute, though. Did they say if they were showing any VR titles for this uh, presentation? Well, so well, so they, so they, never, they yeah. never said anything. Well, they never said anything specifically. Fair yeah. enough. Um, hello, sir. Neo stream. Neo stream. Wait, I feel like we've seen this game before somewhere. Phoenix? This is a weird. Uh, oh, if, uh, if to dab <laughs> from Phoenix, what have you gotten into this that time? Was a, uh, that was a shift. <laughs> uh, is this. It's wow. So basically, what happened is. After Ace Attorney 6, uh, people decided that Phoenix Wright was an arsehole and ran him out of town. <laughs> And now, <laughs> fighting whatever the hell these things are. I guess. Uh, okay, uh, Jovo, uh, what are your thoughts on this? This is a, this is a weird shift. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I was wondering what was taking Capcom the frick so long, but I guess it now makes sense. They were they decided for a complete new gameplay change style. So yes, for what Ace it's a complete genre shows, shift. Yeah. Schmidt. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, we obviously we can. This isn't. <laughs> but it's just like, well, that protagonist looks oh. uncannily like Phoenix. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, Capcom won't make an Ace Attorney game. Fine, we'll make one that looks like Phoenix, right? Yes. <laughs> Will that make the fans happy? No. Oh. Okay. Sure. Sure. Implying that. It's it, sure implying that it's possible to make a fan base happy. Why did they compare throwing a bomb oh, to dropping a turd? So I'm confused. What's going on between this guy and the other guy? I think the other guy was like the butler, and this young guy wants to go on an adventure. Wait, 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 wait! All of a sudden, night. <laughs> so wait, it's um, uh, it's Phoenix Wright. Yeah, I was Rife. confused by that also. So Dragon? basically, hang on. This Little is devil inside. so basically, devil this is Phoenix Wright going up against Count Dooku. So it would Weird. seem. What's up, everyone? Well, that's what I was gonna do. Zion Williamson. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Oh, NBA. Oh, I mean. 
sports. Well, I mean, I you can have a sports game eventually. Well, fine. NBA. You gotta give the sports gaming fans something. Yeah, I know. Might as well do it with NBA. I don't want my FIFA with referee mode. We'll see if EA gets that creative eventually. Well, I mean, Volta, Volta's pretty f What now? Volta, the new okay, the mother was okay. for 20. 2K and Sony, I appreciate the effort. I don't need to see the every single drop of sweat on a character. But, uh, but uh, that's next-gen sweat. <laughs> Good no, what? What? So <laughs> next you're gonna next you're gonna do make a controller with sweat so when a character sweat or something. Oh, yes. God. I need to manually fill it with water to you know. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's called immersion to you. Yes. <laughs> it literally because if it goes like that, I'm gonna be immersed in water. <laughs> it's gonna flood your house if you're it'll, not careful. It'll feel like you are physically touching the players' faces. Ew. That's gross. That's All what right, immersion next. is for, damn it. <laughs> oh. yeah? What is this? Hmm. Oh my god, it's Crash Bandicoot. A strawberry. Nah, the art style isn't quite oh. Yes, Dad, that's totally Crash it's Bandicoot. It's alive, oh god. <laughs> oh no, it's Yuko Part 2. I actually it's kind of enjoy it. It's kill it. But... Whatever. What the hell is this? <laughs> so this is a game where everything has eyes. It's like Mario. It's like Ooh, a rare no, no, game. A rare, right? Hello. This one's lively. Beautiful sea patterns. Apparently, it takes place in Australia. Oh. So we've got an Australian. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe. Like, oh, oh God. Uh, what now? What the fuck is going um... on? Oh, oh from the creators of After Dead. People turn into strawberries and fruits. This is too fucked up you for me. Am I hearing Kero Kero Bonito <laughs> in the background? Weep. They're British! Sandwiches. <laughs> no, 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 they're, Aus they're Austra- no, This is Australian, isn't it? No, the song. A British song what, what, for what, what is, sorry? Uh, the, the the group who's like I'm pretty sure that yeah. <laughs> A British song for an Australian setting. My invitation is You're open. eating your own hands. You. Hey, I have to sustain myself somehow. Should have to go home. It's like that one episode of Billy and Mandy where Billy turns into chocolate. Again? Again? Bug snacks. Bug snacks. Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah. definitely something from the makers of Octodad. So we end with the town um, being on fire. An incredibly weird concept, yeah. Uh, what? Trailer's over. Move. Guys, <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> ah! Excuse oh. me? Oh, how are they 2020? Your food is coming to attack you. Is that's this a horror game? <laughs> I think so. Apparently. Oh my god, it's the new Doki Doki. <laughs> oh, design of a console, I think. Huh? Alright, so I'm finally gonna see the console itself. Is it? It will be a cube. That, or, or this is not, just another so? transition. Oh. I, I didn't mind how a GameCube looked, so I'm fine. That would be fine by me. Nah, I think it might be just the shapes again. Oh, it's still the shapes. Yeah, it's oh, Never it's... mind. Alright then. It looks it's realistic, though, so uh, applause for that. Maybe there'll be. Uh, at, like four different types of this console, one each shaped like the four Oh, Shue sure, Yoshida. <laughs> hey, Yoshida san. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. So are we near the end already? Oh, I thought the same well, I mean, no, I mean, I mean, when they started this, well, no, from what I read, it was an hour. It was on their website and all. Oh, I thought it said two hours, but okay. Nah, on that website I said no. I, I heard, I remember that music. What, a new Uncharted game? No, 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 hold on. Skyrim. Is it Elder Scrolls? Oh, no, no, it's PlayStation Studios. Studios. Oh, I god, think... Oh my god. Oh, either, either no. blo yeah, it's, it's either Blood Porn or Demon's Souls. <laughs> or it's yeah, Horizon that, that 1... Yeah, something from Miyazaki's team. Or it's Horizon 1 Night. No, no, the music is definitely Souls-like. Yeah. 
Uh, so, uh, Demon Souls remake? Uh, uh, there was a very, very strong reason to believe that was a thing. Yeah, it is. It's Demon it Souls. Is. Yes, That's Demon the... Souls, yes. Oh, God. Uh, so this is the blue point uh, the remake. Blue point, because... the, blue, the blue point No, remake, the Tower yes. Knight, there you no, go. The Tower Knight, yes. <laughs> So this is a remake of Demon Souls. Oh yeah. god, this boss the, is a the, bitch. The, game, the, the precursor to the Dark Souls series, yes. And I think it's being made by Blue Point. And the Dragon Blue, God, yeah, of Blue, course. Blue, 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 Blue Point games. Well, too, it's okay. We can now we can now sell our PS3 copies. Blue Point is about to make them. Uh, up, <laughs> I actually never I never owned one. I actually Demon played it as a former friend. Yes. Actually, is still a beach ball. Demon Souls. <laughs> awesome. Very yeah, this is a remake of the bottom. Yeah, Japan, Japan Studio. Yeah. Studio. Well, hey, Japan Studio is something better Ooh. to work on than NAC, I guess. Well, remember, Joe, but they're also working on Astrobot. Oh, uh, Arcane uh, Studio. These are the guys who made the Dishonored and Prey for Bethesda. Ah, looks like the show will go on. Okay. Arcane Studios. What did they do? The, the, the Dishonored and Prey for Bethesda. Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. What, pray for the pets? Check this out. Check this out. There we go. Hello, Black Reef. Cult, my predecessor, has been pronounced guilty of treason. So it's treason then. <laughs> Please hunt them down with the utmost of exuberance. And kindly shoot them in the balls. Thank you. That DKC font on the wall graffiti in there. <laughs> yeah. well, no style. Nintendo PS sold no Donkey Kong this to sell me. <laughs> that's a funny face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this, is, this is a pretty an example of what I was telling before. This looks clearly a trailer that uh, tries to showcase a gameplay session, but it's clearly just a glorified cutscene. Congratulations, welcome to E3. Well, no, it was just making a point. Oh, so you can teleport <coughs> in towards an enemy and shoot them, of course. Yeah, our case would be specialized to making this kind of first person Wait, oh. sort of shooter. Oh, it's a oh, time can traveling. Oh, go over again if you... So it's, it's still a Bubba Fest IP. So it's a time traveling game. Wait, is that this game that they showed off last year about the guy who it, keeps dying? Yeah, yeah, I, I think it is. Uh, you're right. Everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the I think it's like he does multiple characters uh, uh, that are like interjecting between each other. They always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Oh, of course you are. I don't swear. <laughs> he will find a way to succeed, even if it takes him an eternity of death. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. Hey. Oh, it's so it's Ghost Trick if it were a first person shooter. It actually reminds me also of Beetle Killer 7. Yeah, that's the other player character, I think. Co-op, I guess. Or Versus, because I think she also is part of quote-unquote the loop, as we're calling it. This is Death Loop, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Rival assassins locked in a time loop. Oh my god, there's actually there actually is one of the shorts of Love Death Robots that has this kind of story. Yeah, the the person 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 go back. Basically. Die. <laughs> die. And okay. die and the, die the way, again. The way the guy who is shooting actually reminds me a bit of how Draco the Nineteen Dragons a short shot. <laughs> Well, it looks like an interesting premise. Now it's just pray the fest to don't find a way to muck this up. Okay. Yeah, it's even stylized like a Tarantino movie. <laughs> I don't Death. Like Rodriguez, too. I like killing you. There's a difference. Yeah, there you go. She's the hour player character. Can imagine for the multiplayer all those different characters having different abilities. Figures emerging or not. 
How many ways can we show you the symbols of PlayStation? Yes. They worked very hard on this. Yeah. <laughs> Their fetish story objects comes from the Look at it. Look at it. Oh, oh that's oh, 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 look at it. Long yes. ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies. Huh? No. Resident Evil 8? Holy crap, is it? Well, I haven't seen the Capcom logo yet. Hold on. Well, remember, we didn't see the Capcom logo when we first saw Seven. Wait for it. The rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Uh, it seems a little. They're telling a story, though. Over vine, under branch. This doesn't sound like Resident Evil narration types. Or is Last of Us uh, Part Two getting ported? The to VR PS5? experience. Sir. Nah, this doesn't look anything like it. No. But no, I don't. Hold on. Let me see. Up. Uh, if I, I can recognize when a person is done with the engines we use for Resident Evil Seven. Well, if the plot twist is that this is a new oh, shit. Hell game. <laughs> hmm? Where? Grandpa, oh, put um... the rifle down, please. Wait, maybe this is Resident Evil 8, especially if this matches up with those leaks. Yeah, that's what I was... Shit. Yeah, it does look like it could be, yeah. Seeing as how there was Ooh. a leak that Resident Evil is supposed to take place in a village, like Resident Evil 4. Yeah, that's why the subtitle is Resident Evil Village. Because <laughs> of... Uh... Resident E-Village. <laughs> No, because they want to keep the- they love the 7 logo, Wait, so hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, okay, no, never mind. It sounds like it's something different. Okay, Save the baby. Gold suit. Um, This no. is a Resident Evil game, they're going down the trippy path. <laughs> No, I think we Cap I think No, I, well, I mean, I wouldn't put it past Capcom to be trippy, but... For Resident Evil, this would be weird. Oh, it's a werewolf. I mean, order? we just saw what we what they did to Ace Attorney, so... Please don't <laughs> don't be the order. He doesn't need a sequel. No, village. Village. So it's... So... Yeah, that's... Just... It's Resident Evil 8. Yeah. So... What? Yeah. Oh, my... Yeah. <laughs> so... Oh! <laughs> so now they're doing... Oh, that's Chris. Oh, Hey, Chris! What a dick. So I wonder if we'll finally see Jill return. Making sure he's dead, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so now we have werewolves in Resident Evil. Sure, why not? Jova, we, we had giant that animals in the, the, for the first game. game. What, werewolves. Although, 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 to be fair, we did have werewolves back in the old Western comics, so... I guess it figures. Next. Look at that. Look, if they can do anything else with those shapes. That'd Hello. Be... Hi. Nothing to Hi. see here, just Times Square. Hello, um, how you doing? Okay, you... so uh, I don't like this setting considering this is relevant to New York right now about the pandemic going on. Maybe it's intentional. Well, to oh. be fair, Tej, I'm pretty sure this game was being made before. I know, time. I know, it's just timing. Oh, you can see the residual people, like all graphic remaining. Ah, recreating the time, the crime scene. Wait. Hmm. Or is this a new David Cage game or something? Oh, God. Nah, oh, nah, the a, characters, the characters don't look anywhere near as terrifying. Oh, God. Please, no, no Robocats, please. Aww. Pull that away. I think it's a hologram, not a robot. No, no, it, it is a hologram built on an actual robot uh, to make it look, the hologram mm. is make it look cute. Fascinating. It is cute. There we go. Oh, what hey. the fuck? You were saying, Shiri? Never mind. And the re reality broke. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, who, why did you pull the button again? Is this Gravity Rush for it? <laughs> no, the developers of the game are working on something different now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is absolutely where our timeline is going. Whoa. Space! 
piece and the kid is probably gonna die from explosive decompression. <laughs> Unless Pragmata. the kid's a robot or something. Pragmat. Okay, oh, oh, now oh. this... Sun now we're on the moon. moon. is breathable, <laughs> apparently. So are you telling me that they faked the moon landing? Maybe he terraformed it and had to bring her here. What have we done to the Earth? Coming 2020. Oh, it's a Capcom IP. <laughs> Oh, a Capcom IP. No, that's, a, that's, that's so, new. So, two Capcom IPs in a row. Come on, give me Mega Man. Who yeah. knows? Maybe we'll get that Resident How Evil 4. How about an actual Double Fire? We'll probably also get that Resident Evil 4 remake that's also been leaked. If, if we're getting that, I don't think they're going to show it off now. Oh, but so they're not showing the um, controller shapes. Now. It's just the logo. Let's see what it, let's see what it is. <laughs> If it's not going Sony Interactive, so first party at least. So probably Maybe not Capcom. No? Again, it should be Horizon 1 Nights or something. <laughs> yeah, those, Horizon, are, those, those, are, those are the crappy buildings, so I can't believe it might be Horizon. <laughs> yeah, same. Perished a thousand years ago. Yeah, yeah it's Horizon. It sounds that's like that's definitely Horizon. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Kill Pelican. Pelicans are monsters. What are you I talking know. about? They're very ferocious <laughs> and aggressive. And they stink. <laughs> Admire the corpse of a fish. <laughs> also, this is Look my spotlight. Go we can away. Make our, we can make our yeah, dead there, fish. There, there's Aloy. Yes. Awesome. It's the circle of life. Yeah, but Shiri is, is, is becoming part of the grass, not the sand. Oh, not the fox. Nature will oh. find a way, Aloy. Holy sh what? Holy shit! Uh, what? What happened? What did he well, do? What, what did those two do? You know the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> Man, Breath of the Wild Two looks well, great. Well, we do know it was <laughs> over, and we know yeah. that they're still part of a program. But we how did? But Daddy, how did Zelda dye her hair? Magic. Alright, I'm not even kidding. Horizon. Oh, you can, you can swim now. Yes, Underwater, you can I mean. swim now. Oh, cool. For those who recall, you originally could not swim in the original. No, I think you could swim, but only on the surface. Only on the surface. Well, but yeah. But... Honestly, that I'm sold on that alone because I hate how few video games you actually get to swim in. You can swim in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, a Chinese dragon? It was a hologram must uh, be from the re from the restaurant. I know, I know, I just find it interesting because yeah, uh, the, the first game didn't have anything like that. Oh awesome. boy, deserts! Zero out of ten. If I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Oh, they're, 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 they're to stay put. <laughs> Sometimes knowledge is more important. I, I recognize him. I recognize him actually. He's the concierge of John Wick. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, Lance, Lance uh, Reddick. Man, Lance Reddick, yeah. Pterodactyls. They see what it's called Horizon Forbidden, Forbidden West. West. Horizon. Nah, that's not called One, one Night Ruined Forever. <laughs> Ooh, rival gangs. Ooh. I'm getting Lord of the Rings I vibes. I can't wait to dismantle these things. Getting heavy <laughs> Lord of the Ring vibes. No, seriously, one of the best, uh, one of the most satisfactory <laughs> things in Horizon is to actually dismantle the machine piece by piece. It is, it is. it's amazing. So first, Mechanical T-Rex is now Mechanical Mammoth. Angie's Mats. Basically, she's the new head of Gorilla, but she was uh, Herman's second in command, and now that Herman is the head of Sony's Worldwide Studios, uh, Angie is now the, um, the new head of for the company. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. Huh. Not bad. To the majestic world of Horizon. Well, I like the awesome. first one, so the second one should be good. Hello, different developers. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. Big fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences. Oh, yeah, she's like a No matter where they are, 
Well, this is the uh, we we love uh, developing. Uh, yeah, I get the remedy. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I for one can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. You know, this actually would have been a good sport for having Tsunako showing up. <laughs> I would have made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, that's creepy. <laughs> This is a French version of the, the same game. Oh my god, it's gonna be a sphere. Yes, the oh no, those, those are like grapes. We will absorb you all <laughs> into the massive void. Uh, the PlayStation uh, grape. Uh, <laughs> what? That, that's the secret, that's the secret news. Now. All these shapes that we contribute to form Polygon Man. He's officially returned. Let's just see, too. This is, um, this is Mark Cerny using his force powers to mold the console. Jesus. <laughs> they didn't mention this in Avatar. No, I said force powers, right. though. Or oh, is this is this going to be the new console? The yeah, design? probably like we're, we're like because this is going longer than the normal. Yeah, they're probably using this to show the console. Look at our balls. <laughs> Wow, so I really love them. PlayStation 5, please look at our balls. <laughs> you will love them, whether you want to or not. And you will play I'm with them. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> you will play with them ever so hardly. And they're blue. Damn straight. Oh no, <laughs> blue. <clears throat> they're blue, long, and dangly oh, by the God. looks of it. I... I... <laughs> Wow, okay. I can't turn that. Yeah, I can't no. turn this thing horizontally. No, okay, that <laughs> that looks silly. That thing is not pretty. It's the curve that fucks me up. Why couldn't it just say rectangular? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, somebody must have been a fan of Perfect Cell because that is pretty much his head, but as a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, 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 again, that's also the other thing. I'm used to turn the consoles horizontally because I'm more comfy to put them in play like that. This is very impractical. Well, to be honest, yeah. I'm probably, probably going to be like a slim version that's more practical later on the line. I think I might wait for that. I'm also going to wait and also wait to see if they bring out a slightly... <laughs> better controller <laughs> like i said before yeah that controller the main the main issue with me for the controller is the shoulder triggers they do not look that comfortable for me it's more so that the uh directional <laughs> buttons and... oh there you go there's a more ergonomic design i guess and... the buttons are flat basically they're too flat ps5 digital edition oh it's the one there's without no the definition display. Uh, okay. oh so a sad is edition actually, i can actually care actually can, can, yeah, can huh. care more about that one but, the, but there aren't. But that doesn't have a disk drive. Yeah, oh yeah. no! How will I ever cope? I will. Dual agree. sense charging station. I will go destroy the D-pad. Is Even not the that great. Seriously? Oh god! So what was that, uh, Jova? I agree with you about the D-pad. It looks nah. nah. So do we have an actual date? We hope you've enjoyed the well, I mean, considering what's happening right now, I can forgive them for being a bit loose with the date. Okay, okay, okay. I, I really enjoyed this presentation, but that PS5 design, hmm. that's a tough swallow for me, we not going to lie. And we put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Well, I mean, it's more creative than um. It's it's still set this year, so it might be a Christmas release. Warm. I mean, I can forgive him for not doing a more <laughs> concrete release date or anything. I guess it makes sense. Conclusive montage, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay, look, don't get me wrong. The it looks cool. Well, okay, that's d okay. That's debatable. It, it definitely looks unique, but it doesn't look like a practical design, like... Yeah, it's design over practicality. Yeah. A console design needs to be a good mixture of cool...
cool and practical, and it should always lean towards practical over just, it looks cool. Like, heck, that's part of the reason why the Xbox 360 had that packing problem with the chips back in the day, before they, re before they refined it with the slim design. They wanted to make it look cool, but it did not work with the overall hardware. I, mean, I can I can at least admire its um, well, I can admire it's a bit it's a bit more creative looking than the um, oh, yeah. than, say, the, than the Series X. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely. I mean, the, the Series X just looks like a, a, a little tiny fridge or, or a bazooka or a giant PC. <laughs> sometimes well, I mean, it's from Microsoft. Keep, in, keep in mind, old weeps, but sometimes uh, oh, there can okay. be. Um, they show they, they briefly showed a little snippet of the, the console put horizontally, so apparently you can put it horizontally. Okay, good, good. I'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Between vertically. Maybe on one side. No, 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 no. I was mentioning before dweebs that I normally prefer to pull to instead of keeping them vertically to pull to turn them horizontally because I have a sort of scaffolding where I can pull them there that way. For example, right now I have my PS4 on the bottom and the PS3 on top. Pretty much have a similar setup with like a TV stand, so yeah, having it horizontally would be nice. There'll probably be more photos on uh, the PlayStation website yeah. anyway, so. But what about the price tag? Yeah, what about? Play has no limits. They are gonna tell us the price, right? And this is their new slogan for this, I guess. Well, I mean, for the players, well, that's the slogan around here in Europe. Huh, so no price point given. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to use the five ninety nine US dollars pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, 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 to you, you're not completely giving go game I today. Wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Well, I, I, I never <laughs> set out to... Uh, to reveal the price first. I never <laughs> set out to do, but I will say that I'm still pleased with the results. So. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Pedro might be right. Maybe Sony are just waiting for Microsoft to reveal yeah, the price. Yeah, it's over. Of, of their console All first right. before they eventually reveal the price of the PS5. It's like a game of chicken between the two. See who what if they're waiting it? for the other and we just never find out the price ever? Well, they'll have to make a price <laughs> point no, eventually. They, they're giving it away for free. Remember, Shiroi, oh, yeah. Okay, I then I might suicide, be tempted but, to get yeah. it. Remember, Shiroi, uh, Microsoft's uh, event, big first party event is um, July 10th, is it? Uh, uh, at the beginning of July. And my, they're they're waiting until after that, most likely, to see what Microsoft is going to do, most likely. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, aside from the design of the PS5 and the PS5 controller, this was an overall very well put together presentation. Dare I say the best put together presentation Sony has had since, like, I'm going to say 2016. Mm -hmm. Well done. Um, All right, I'm, I'm gonna start to just recap quickly. Um, GTA GTA Five. Uh, I'm not sure if a, a proper port is necessary, but it makes me wonder if, considering the PS4 version is already a port of a PS3 version, the wonder if Rockstar prefers to just cut corners and do this uh, because they fear it might not be, you know, completely compatible. A thing that, keep in mind, uh, Sony has not mentioned in this stream uh, the, the extent of the retro compatibility, which we'll probably, you know, still say in the future. But still, it's fine. And we're doing that promotion for people who are on the game to also incent in the multiplayer. So I'm pretty sure, you know, they're just building up the hype for the eventual release. It's still impressive that we're managing to uh, you know, keep going with the momentum for GTA V so many years after its initial release. We literally righted the title of an entire console generation with this one. The game is um, just that good, I can tell you that. Well, I can, and I can imagine the multiplayer addictive with what the, the things that you do there. Um, anyway, next, My, Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, the... I'm not sure if it's the proper sequel, or if it's gonna be like a transitioning spin-off, uh, to see where things are going in Insomniac experimenting with it, but still, if it's more, if it's, if it's more of the same of the first uh, Spider-Man PS4 was, which, judging by the trailer, it looks like fair enough to me. Gran Turismo Seven, fine for the fans. I'm normally, when it comes to racer, I prefer normally the kart type, but uh, I think I mentioned this for the Forza segments in Microsoft. Uh, I'm pretty sure people like Dweebs will be, you know, pleased. Uh, 
for you know having uh, an interesting that Gran Turismo is uh, at least for the launch lineup. I don't know if it's gonna be at the proper launch title or just a bit later, but still interesting that now it's included. Uh, Resident and Crack Rift Apart, definitely interested, considering again now I mentioned that I will always have open, left open the possibility of a story continuing after Nexus. This seems to be picking that direction. And considering we're, we're talking also about an alternate reality where Dr. Nefarious has won, it implies a lot of more shenanigans. So looking forward to that. Um, Project Athia by the Luminous Production. We knew this was coming, and it definitely looks something that uses the Luminous engine. You know, it very looks a lot like 15. We'll have to see if this new console allows the engine to work without being too taxing. We don't know. Aside from being action oriented, we don't know if it's going to be too open world, you know, or not. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But it stays it's interesting that it said that it's designed exclusively for the PS5. So I do wonder what exactly do we mean with that, uh, because it, it's a it's a particular way of wording. Anyway, uh, stray the the word the wording with the humanity extinct with robots, and you apparently you play as a cat. I'm sure she will be so happy with this. Oh, yes, um, absolutely. I'll wait to see an actual gameplay to judge more of this. Um, but I'll, uh, there is an interview on the Yamatsu article. I'll read it in the meantime while the others mention their final thoughts. Um, Returnal by Housemark has interesting uh, you know, visuals, but I'll wait to see more of that as well, just to be sure. Um, I had a good experience. I had a good, you know, experience with Outland, and I still need to play their other major title, the shooter that I mentioned. But this one was completely different, uh, out of their usual zone. Um, Sackboy, sure. Like it's if Sumo Digital wanted to play more safe, considering they seem to add more some trouble with a little bit fan free. As long as the game turns out to be fine, fair enough. But, I do wonder if people will be discouraged due to, you know, uh, how Little Big Van Free was received, but who knows. Um, Destruction All Stars, I mentioned all I needed in the trailer. It looks like a, a more direct version of Twisted Metal, just without the weapon, and more, you know, a bit similar also to. Um, oh god, Joe Van Deji and Pedro remind me. Uh, because I'm forgetting the title, that uh, soccer slash football game with the cars, uh, Rocket League. There you go. Yeah, it looks League. like it looks like a destruction version of Rocket League, uh, that kind of way, with that Overwatch-like type of roster that we've seen in some kind of games, uh, you know, um, but done in recent times. Um, Kena or Kena Bridge of Spirits is definitely another one that has me more interested in it. Uh, so at least I'll keep an eye out on it to see how it goes. I still can find proper info on the development team. Maybe I will we'll mention this more in the future as well. Uh, Good Bible, Keno High. It's not really interesting to D, but aside from, you know, the premise alone is not captivating me too much. Um, i like to see what kind of game actually is. Maybe there's a... Uh, but I checked here. The studio has mentioned that it's not an exclusive. It's also for PC as well. So... Is that Oddworld Soulstorm finally showcased gameplay, and well, it's exactly what it is a more refined version of what the original second game you know, uh, looked like. Ghostwire Tokyo actually shows gameplay. I, I don't know, it looks fine, but maybe not really for me. We'll have to see later again on this one. Uh, Jet the Far Shore, I forgot actually about this one. Um, so I'll, I'll, skip, I'll skip it over right now. Maybe I'll mention this later if I remember. Godfall, the one presented by Bethesda. Sorry, about Bethesda. I want, Gear, but, Gear. Quickly, I want me to interrupt you real quickly, too, since you mentioned this earlier. Uh, I'm seeing Gamata right now. Uh, yes, Kena is their first game, Ember Labs' first game. So yeah, it is their little... A new studio. Covers. Okay. New studio. Fair enough. Um... There we go. I just remember, got reminded from the trailer. Super Brothers, uh, sorry, Jet the Far Show is the one, the weird one with the rocket uh, going on for many e e centuries. Again, it looks a bit like Civilization's poor and a bit of uh, Mass Effect. We'll have to see how it looks like uh, again more. Um, Godfall, like I, um, I didn't mention much when uh, the Game Awards happened, but. It looks interesting, but another thing that probably not for me. And I'm, I'm at the cost of sounding, you know, paranoid. Gearbox is not 
really earn my trust in, re in these recent tiers, so I'd yeah. like to see what it, what, uh, how it fares. Um, Solar Ash. Yeah, this maker, but it's done by the one of Hyper Like Drifter, and it looks cool. Just you know, different, you know, different enough. You can definitely tell now they have a proper budget instead of relying on Kickstarter. You know, Hitman Three, it's the usual Hitman experience again. Another thing that I'm sure this will be cool enough for it. Just not really for me. If I, if I'm one of those franchises that I may want to, may actually get into it, but I want to start properly from the basis, like getting the the, the PS3 version of the original titles, for example. Um, Astrobot, um, the new Astrobot looks, you know, fine. We'd like to see if it's for VR or not. The articles don't mention any specific yet. Little Devil Inside is the one that's a bit more weird. The, 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 uh, the, the scope of the, the big adventure they wanted to do is interesting, but the, present the, the way the trailer was composed was a little bizarre um bugs max uh, the one made by the guys who made octo that it's uh, freaky very freaky um but uh it's one of those games that i will definitely will be interested but only in seeing uh, youtube videos of it instead of actually playing the game uh, sorry demon souls remake definitely checking out this one you know the 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 one problem with the the, the original game had is was being a first of its own kind was very clunky, you know, and then yeah. unfortunately had a couple of cut content. So we'll have to see if Bluepoint actually restored it. How much from software is involved in creative consultancy for this one? Well, they you know? still, the, the trailer only showed Bluepoint and Japan Studio. So, and Japan Studio did collaborate with From Software on Demon Souls. So, most likely the original people from Japan Studio who worked on uh, Demon Souls, if they're. Uh, Basically, so blue, blue, but farm, uh, farm is most likely not involved. In one thing that I definitely hear is the music. Demon Souls, being another one of its first, had the disadvantage that the music compared to later entries was uh, no, not as good. Not really garbage, but not something completely memorable, like stuff from the Dark Souls or Bloodborne games. Um, mm -hmm. Judging from the trailer, they seem to instead going through that direction and having like a new score. We'll see, we'll see. Um, Deathloop, again, the Arcane Studios develop interesting games, and this one doesn't, you know, looks uh, no, like no exception for it. So, I'll Keep an eye on this one too. Resident Evil 8 or Village, because yeah. Capcom wants to put titles. Uh, makes me makes me wonder. The long-awaited uh, Shyamalan Village video game. We've been waiting for. <laughs> it's artsy. <laughs> no, it's another thing. Capcom is really pushing the Resident Evil button this at least one year release. I I can only hope the momentum can manage to go without uh, you know screeching too much. Um, then there's the other Capcom IP, the one of the astronaut guy showcasing, you know, the, the putting the girl on the moon, but it was only, you know, um, like a glorified cutscene, I know nothing of it, so I'm considering it's coming 2022, we'll have to wait what it's like. And finally, Horizon Forbidden West. If the gameplay is just as good as the one in the first game, or the even more expanded just by the look of it, I'm all for it. Just please. Get you know, um, improve your facial your facial mocap technique because really the the uncanny valley factor in the first game was noticeable. That's all. And finally, the console design. Yeah, like the the standard model really doesn't look up for me. The digital version is much, looks actually much more doable. You know, but I'm still not I'm still not getting this at launch just for principle alone because you know I don't want to spend too much for a console you know by principle and uh, the the parental flaw song rings true you know the, the consoles uh, after launch uh, only become better because uh, companies refine them you know and give her a price cut which is all for it for people like me who actually are have the patience to wait. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, overall, a, per, a very great presentation, you know, didn't need too many, uh, to any particular words, you know, any, uh, fluff, fluffy words and all. Um, just, you know, I'll need to still wait uh, just a bit more and see how all of this will turn out. Still, Unfortunately, since there is no clearly neck free for this console, I'm gonna have to give it a zero out of ten. Next, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> yeah. uh, can I go next? 
<laughs> Go ahead. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I really did enjoy the uh, conference. You know, I do appreciate that um, they decided to take the route of um, of just showing game after game as a, with with only the occasional talking head every so often. And and, and even then, they have, they're have they very short and succinct with the talking heads anyway. Um, my favorite, my game of the uh, conference is, uh, well, Gran Turismo 7. Um, mainly because, well, yeah, I love these kind of, I love those kind of racing games. You know, um, more, more realism. Not, not that I, not that I object to say like the Mario Karts or anything. It's just you know, grad, you know just you know, games like Gran Turismo yeah. were more yeah, my alley. About sports racing simulators, that, right? That and, yeah, that and Gran Turismo is one of the oldest of Sony. Yeah, that's all the yeah, older I mean, stable. Yeah, it's been it's been going on since nineteen ninety seven. So it may, so, so it's always great to see uh, it return in form. So, yeah, mind you, shouldn't it be called Gran Turismo Eight? Considering technically Sport is the seventh game. Well, well no, no. If, it's, if it's not numbered, then we can skip that. It's like saying that oh, Mega Man Nine. It should be Mega Man Ten because there's Mega Man in base. Well, that, that that's just <laughs> semantics. Go ahead. Uh, as for the others, um, uh, yeah, there was. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to. Um, Excuse me, uh, Spider Man Miles Morales. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I thought they'd come up with a bit more creative of a name as opposed to who the main character is, but you know, hmm. yeah, I thought, they'd be, I, thought it'd, I thought it'd be like something called like Spider Man the New Whatever. I can't think of Rise the of the Symbionts because that seemed to be the teaser at the end of the you know, the first yeah. game, yeah. yeah, something like that. Um, there's also, um, well, I mean, I can't really say Res Z Eight because I'm not, I'm not really a horror fan. Although I do appreciate that you know they're still they're keeping with the um, first person stuff. So this is, I think I think this is going to be what Capcom do from now on. They're going to have the remakes be um, third over person, the, over the shoulder third person, whereas the newer games are going to be um, third per first person. Honestly, it was hard to tell if it was first person or third person because. From what we see for first person, that was strictly cutscenes, and like, well, it's not clear. Also, if Chris is back, if we're playing as him, I don't know what to think. Well, in the sense, like, well, I don't know, maybe it'll be, like, occasionally first person or third person. I mean, to be fair, in Resident Evil 3 Remake, there was that brief second where you play as first person, so maybe we'll see a mix of the two. And all the other games, I'm, um, I'm, I'm at least mildly curious about, so, um... That's a, that's, that's, that is a good sign. Um, the console design itself, okay, I do appreciate <laughs> that you know that 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 Sony at least aren't doing the you know the generic box like like a like a couple of the um, like a couple of generations have been doing, like how the PS2 was basically a box lifted up by another box. And uh, that the uh, that the PS4 was basically like a giant eraser. Although I will say this, what, this was it the said about tweaks bar? Although I will say this though, that design does match up with the rumors that the PS5 has cooling problems because that screams Xbox. It's the 360 all over again. It even has the slender look like the 360. <laughs> so what? You're um, tell are you telling me that the PS5 isn't going to be the ultimate perfect system ever? Mm. We'll just we have to see. Well, I mean, I, I don't expect perfection. I just, I just expect competence. <laughs> okay, it seems that the, the every the, game will be running at sixty okay. FPS every Re game. The reporting right now, this seems that the new fresh meme about the design is that it looks like a router. Yes. <laughs> It also looks like an Oreo. And... Oh, oh the, router, God, it the router I've got doesn't look like that. Well, regardless, continue. Re yeah, go on. I mean. I mean, I, again, I, I don't hate the design or anything. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will grow on me over time. Um, and, and it's like I've said, you know, there have been plenty of consoles in the past that haven't had very good designs, and yet they've gone on to do pretty well for themselves. Um, what else is there? Uh, the controller itself. Now that you can see a whole lot more of it, um, I'm not sure how it will feel in my hand. I got. I got to get my hands on it when um, when they do like. Or when the when shops are ready enough to do um, demos in in shops, 
And um, you know, as for the, and I also appreciate that you know they're doing two models, one having um, a disc one and a discless one. I mean, that's one thing I can give um, Microsoft a bit of credit for. You know, starting this new trend of having two versions of a system, like say, you know, you might not care about discs, for example. Yeah, you know, or or you might want discs, even though it does add a little bit of a bulge to your system. Mm-hmm. That's what the PS4, PS5's disc-based one looks a bit like to me. So since the PS5 has its own sad edition, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they'll, I don't think they called it that. Well, it's Hopefully pretty this much. One will just it it. It's pretty yeah. much. It's pretty much the same thing, though. You know, called digital edition. Um, what else was there? Um, was there anything else? <laughs> There was Resident Evil. Oh, wait, you already uh, talked about that. He already talked about that. About the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, are you, are you how much you're familiar with the first game? I've only played a bit of the first game. I mean, it, it, again, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it will woo those who were looking forward to it, like it wooed Pedro. Well, and Tio Tio also played it then. And and Tio Tio, I couldn't, I couldn't remember if Tio was. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Still need to get and the DLC. And I am sure Siri is looking forward to the advertising campaign. Oh yes, absolutely. Everywhere I go. Yeah, buy Horizon. Or... <laughs> I'll be seeing it in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will be that be an interesting new marketing camp, new marketing strategy. Uh, Sony Beam. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the thing. Dreams wasn't actually ever meant to be a uh, create your own games uh, system. The, the game it was actually beaming forth into your mind buy our games buy our games um oh yeah back to the oh yeah, I, I remember something though back to the um console design itself um um i mean um, aesthetic wise to me it kind of looks like a seashell i can top it the ones I, that open their mouths and you know have pills in them an oyster. Yeah. And and I don't mind the colour scheme. Yeah, it's like I've said before, you know, about me appreciating that Sony has dropped doing just generic boxes for their console designs. I'm also appreciative in that they're not having it all be black this time. It's got like um same. Even it's even so I'm pretty I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure yeah. there's gonna be like an alternate color version just for those yeah. wanted pure black oh, that launch. Yeah, oh, the, the, yeah. I can't remember if I can't remember if there were different color schemes at one when the PS4 launched. I mean, there was a blue one at one point, but I'm not sure when that one came in. Well, I mean, I mean, if nothing else is going to blend in very well with my shelf that I have these consoles in. All right. Since my since my shelf is the basically the color of the outside of that thing. <laughs> okay then. But yeah, um, overall, I really enjoyed this conference, uh, oyster shell and all. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, okay, so to get to get the aesthetic aspect out of the way right right from the beginning, personally, I don't think the control looks uh, that bad than used to get you because I, through a lot of brute force, managed to get used to the Xbox 360 controller. So if I can, if I can get used to that controller, I can get used to anything. Good luck with the so... D-pad. No, trust me, Joe. But that D-pad, while not perfect. Yeah, I'll still take that over the 360 D-pad. I can. T- have you ever touched the 360 controller? Yes, yes, this. yes. How do you think? Yeah. How do you think? I, I, I use it for Steam and all. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you think I was recording that stuff for Steam before I finally got the much better Xbox One and PS4 yeah. controllers? Well, 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 regardless, the point is, um, the point is, it still looks uh, fair enough to me. Maybe I, I have to get a final impression. I have to actually hold it in my hands and actually use it before I make a final decision on whether or not I like the controller. But so far, for me, eh, it doesn't look perfect, but at the same time, it doesn't look bad to me. It looks like it's, it looks serviceable to me, to be honest. I don't really particularly, it could, it could be better, but at the same time, it could be a lot worse. So I'm gonna hold off on actually holding the controller myself before I make a proper final judgment on it, to be honest, because uh, you know what I I'm... wish a lot of designs like this had, though? Something like, you know, maybe a kickstand or something that would definitely make it a lot better to play at a horizontal level, you know? I mean, by all means, have your curves, but have something that will guarantee that this thing will remain straight across and horizontal. 
Mm -hmm. In the meantime, as for the console itself, I, ha I am glad. I am glad that I'm, uh, we've just noticed right now, thanks to pictures, that uh, yes, you can put the PS5 horizontally. I'll wait so to see how that great. turns out. Well, you can see the picture there that you posted it on the chat. Yeah, that's uh, right. It's pretty clear. You, you guys in the audience, feel free to Google search. It should be out there. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Thumbnail, so. me, as long as you can put it horizontally, that's all I really ask personally, because I don't really, personally, I've never really, I don't buy consoles for decorative purposes. As long as it's a good console on the inside, I can't give a crap about how it looks like. It can look like a Volkswagen buggy for all I care. Uh, I just wanted to look, sorry, not look. I just wanted to <laughs> function. I just wanted to function uh, well, and that's all I want because, um, uh, and that, that's more than I can say for a lot of stuff that I could complain with my Xbox 360. But again, I'm not here to rag on that. Um, as for the, and to to uh, add to what Dwiz was saying, I'm personally very glad that the console is not bl entirely black. Don't get me wrong, I have no problem with that color in particular. I didn't know we had a racist here. <laughs> <laughs> it's that is not, now is not, not the time. That is please. some low <laughs> hanging right. fruit. No, no, no issue. I know how to respond. I can't be racist towards an object. That doesn't work. <laughs> that, sorry, Deji, but that doesn't work. I don't know, um, Pedro. I don't know, Pedro. Detroit Become Human suggests otherwise. Oh, God, no, I'm out. I guess I'm out. pieces of plastic. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're, we're going too far on this. Yeah, let's continue, please. Yeah, let's, please Go let's on. Stop. Whatever, but whatever, whatever. The main reason why I'm glad that it's white is because I'm getting a bit tired. It's a personal peppy of mine of how practically every console nowadays is always entirely black, which makes it that it always shows the dust and it becomes uh, uh, a troubling thing because it, it always looks uh, ugly because it's so full of dust that gets collected. However, with the white color, it doesn't show as much. And I personally prefer it that way. Again, this is nothing. This is not not a deal breaker anyway, and it's just entirely superficial argument that I'm making right now. I, I don't get me wrong. I I am aware of that. It's just that I'm personal pet peeve that I'm kind of getting a bit tired of every goddamn console being uh, entirely black in color, because uh, I think the white color is. Uh, I think Nintendo had it right with the Wii and the Wii U personally in terms of making it all white uh, because uh, it's it's just a, an overall better color for something to be on a shelf to me i do have a counter argument for that Go i ahead. feel like white is easier to get dirtied yeah, yeah definitely i think the benefit uh, though it's it's probably like more noticeable so it's easy to clean i guess uh, I well I, re I regularly clean my stuff anyway so i never really run into that problem yeah like, you should just regularly clean your consoles anyway yeah, that, that's actually the problem. <laughs> However, however, if you spill something on it, though, that'll stain a lot more, especially if it's a different color. Okay, well, you can smell your cough. Well, it's a good thing I'm actually careful with my stuff, so that does, that doesn't happen with me. Good for uh, you. Um, I mean, you might as well say, well, that, well, if you do, if you do throw your PS5 at the wall, it probably will break. Well, yeah, no crap. If you if you if you mistreat your console, it might not function. Well, no shit. Um, yeah, so. So yeah, as for the console, like I said, like I said, as long as you can put it horizontally, which fits my setup well, like Teo and Shiro's, uh, that's all I ask. Okay. Uh, it looks... Yes. I was just saying, my only doubts of it are that, sure, it's pictured that it can be held horizontally, but then again, the 360 was also shown supposedly to be held horizontally, except it really couldn't though so again actually it can i i use my 360 horizontally and i've never had any issues actually. i'm talking about the original like the very original one but again i have i have that's the one i have and it works just fine like that huh must have gotten one of the ones that did work better horizontally my point being is like well i'll wait to see if it's actually sturdy on the horizontal sure sure well, regardless, like I said, like, uh, by all means, I'm by no means trying to say, yeah, if you want me to actually talk about the look itself, yeah, it does look a bit weird. Um, uh, however, uh, like I said, personally, this is just for me personally, I don't really give a crap about how the console looks as long as it functions well in, on the inside. Personally, I don't buy consoles to decorate my uh, living room. So as long as long as it functions, I literally don't give a crap how it looks. It could it it could look like a freaking Illuminati triangle, and I wouldn't care. Um, so that's basically it. As for the games themselves, I'm very very impressed by this showing in general, mostly because of the variety of the stuff that was shown. You see, this is exactly why I why I'm so harsh on Microsoft's 
inside Xbox thingies because they always only show one particular type of game. Like they they just show uh, in the artsy games and that's it. Mostly in the artsy games and that's it. And they just uh, flood the, their stuff with that stuff. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Even this uh, showing had some of them. But you know, but this but this showing had variety in how this stuff. They didn't. They tried to give something to everybody. You want platformers? Here's a new Sackboy game, and a new Ratchet and Clank game. And there's even and apparently that Kina game seems like it's probably gonna have some platforming here and there. So you want platformers? We got them. You want racing games? We've got them. You want we you want action adventure games? We've got them. So mm -hmm. I really so I'm personally really really uh, impressed by the variety that was shown over here. Um, they didn't just go with one type of game. They went with games for pretty much everybody. Like uh, you want, an, uh, we have a new, the Spider-Man game is probably going to be a launch game from what I'm seeing here. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. That's already a great launch game in general because um, the first game was awesome. Um, uh, I'm it's super excited about the Batman game though. Well, that's up to Warner Brothers, so like we have to wait on that. <laughs> Just be um, glad that they finally got around to showing that new Spider-Man and Horizon Zero game, despite them trying to hide such. <laughs> well, as long as they show it, that's all I want. Um, where was it? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm super excited for Horizon Zero. Uh, so for Horizon, what's the name again? Um, Horizon, Horizon Zero game. 2. Forbidden West? Forbidden, Forbidden West, West. Uh, I'm super excited for Horizon uh, Forbidden West because uh, the the first Horizon is the most technically impressive game I've ever played. The fact that Gorilla was able to make an open world game uh, like that and made it look so beautiful, and yeah, with a con with a rock solid 30 FPS that only drops one in one specific house of one specific village uh, is incredibly impressive to me. Um, and I'm sure this one will also be a fantastic technical showcase for the PS5 as well. Um, and um, it looks, and we we get, uh, we, we get mecha mammoths. Sign me in. Like um, I said, it's very Lord of the Rings us, and I can't wait to disassemble them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Horizon Zero Dawn is a lot of fun, uh, and it's uh, a very, and I do appreciate the different type of storytelling it has compared to other. Sony IPs, where most Sony IPs go for the emotional thrust type of story, uh, whereas Horizon Zero Dawn goes for more political-driven, much too much style of storytelling, and that's not very common nowadays. So I'm glad that um, I'm glad that Gorilla chose that particular type because don't get me wrong, I love me some emotional stuff as much as the next guy, but we need variety. So it's nice to see that um, that someone is also trying to make something a bit different, just so that we don't get the exact type of story for everything. So that's nice. Uh, other things. I'm looking look forward to Sackboy by Sumo Digital. Sumo Digital does good work. So I'm and true the little Bl little bit Planet Three was not the best, but <laughs> the Sumo Digital is better at making games of this ilk anyway. So I'm much more confident in this one. Uh, um, now that Dreams basically, with, with Dreams being a thing now, there's no reason for a little bit Planet Four really. So, yeah, this is the best way you have of trying to keep Sackboy alive. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? Uh, Kina. Yeah, I'm very, very interested in Kina. It looks pretty damn cool. Um, so that's definitely, again, I'm looking forward. I'm already looking forward to Project Afea, or whatever the hell you pronounce that new IP by, Square, Lum by Square's Luminous team. I'm wondering, too, are, are they still using the Luminous engine? It is. Or that's what that's what it looks like. Okay, then. Um, hopefully they've refined it. Uh Whatever. Uh, regardless, it still looks really cool, and I'm glad that the Luminous team got to make something new. Um, so it will be nice to see what they do on the, like completely unrestrained by um, by by you know the the rules of making Final Fantasy games. So just to make a completely brand new thing that they want to make, so that's nice. What else? Uh, what else did they show? Oh yeah. Um. I'm, uh, uh, overall. I'm really looking forward to uh, most of the stuff they got shown here. I'm looking incredibly forward to Ratchet and Clank, uh, Rift, in, Rift in Time, or whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so yeah, it looks really interesting. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Spider-Man, I've already talked about Spider-Man. Yeah, that's definitely uh, they won't purchase because, well, I love the the first Spider-Man game by Insomniac. So yeah. Um, 
what else? Uh, yeah, Godfall looks also pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I've been interested in that game ever since it was first revealed in the Game Awards, and I'm st and I stay on because it looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and I, I really, again, like I said, I really appreciate the variety that the show. That's all I was asking. You see, like um, all of you who have been watching me rag on Microsoft's showings, this is what I wanted: some kind of variety. Show something for everybody instead of just showing one type of game at nauseum. Oh, you, you mean know, like, like what Ubisoft tend to do these days? Uh, well, these well, you you talk about the um, the Tom Clancy thing. That E three two thousand nineteen. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, sure. No, no, I agree with you. It's just that like it's, it's not even so much that job. It's more so the fact that uh, unlike Microsoft, uh, and and don't get me wrong, everybody. I know yeah, that Ubisoft have don't have a console to sell. Not, not not just that, Jova. Like uh, unlike Microsoft, and they don't get me wrong, I, I am aware that they still have the July event to turn things around. I am aware of that, and I will be watching that with an open mind. Don't worry. Um, it's just that, uh, it's just that when you're trying to sell a console, should immediately bring some of at least some of your big guns, and that's what Sony did here by bringing in Spider-Man and Horizon, and even uh, as, as, making some probably some kind of deal for Square to make a PS5 exclusive. So that's nice to see. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, this is uh, this is how you first showcase uh, a console. Because I'm already lo really looking forward to getting a PS5 because uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, or Horizon Zero Dawn Two, Spider Man, Godfall, Kina. Definitely, these are definitely things that will make me get the console because it looks really cool. So that's pretty awesome for me. So yeah, I'm particularly very impressed with what was shown here. Uh, most, like I said, the the most uh, the, the biggest reason variety freaking variety we have games for practically every taste here we even have a cat game for shiroi so <laughs> so yeah um very 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 uh, satisfied with this uh showing like i said um like i said that's for me it's all about the games for me that's all it is like that's that's all i want and that's what they delivered uh and that's what i wanted so i'm personally satisfied shiroi uh, Shire, by the way, just letting you know, so you're not also for the experience, I checked in the meantime the article about Stray. The, yeah. only, the, the closest thing that uh, tell about the gameplay is the developers telling this. Our goal is to create a unique experience playing as a cat. We are inspired every day by Murtag and Riggs, our two cats. Most of the team are cat owners as well, giving us all of our helpful first-hand references because cats are always so playful, cute, and lovingly annoying that it's an endless stream of gameplay idea for us. Let me guess, they're probably going to... This mo game is made by my people. Again, again, again. What's the motion capture of some of the cats, too, that, probably? Uh, it doesn't oh, state, my gosh. It doesn't state too much, so I'm going to guess it's going to be, like, third I'm already sold. I literally like, don't ex care. Exploration. <laughs> all but uh go on but yeah like this was very impressive like in all honesty i mean pedro's right about the variety and yeah this is what i was hoping microsoft would have done the last time also i i even said that pretty much that during the final thoughts and yeah i do hope that they can pick it back up for the next one at least i mean i'm i'm not gonna write them off for um that because you know, at the time, I didn't know when their next stream would actually be. It's pretty soon, all things considered. So, yeah, they might actually be able to pick it up. Mm -hmm. I'm not really going to say anything else about the console design because I've already said my piece and so has everyone else. It is nice that there are, you know, there are a lot of people I've seen already online that are actually, that actually, you know, really like the design and that's that's good. Um, I won't get this at launch, though. I don't get consoles at launch just because it that rarely ever goes well for anyone yeah and as tio said you know developers always bring out better ones anyway later on so i mean i tend to wait a couple of years like two three years so mm -hmm. yeah but yeah um that's all i'm gonna say about the console itself again we've already I, said I enough i generally wait a year or so mm-hmm but uh, yeah, I mean, well, to get a quick thing out of the way anyway, in terms of the games, well, we at least have um, Little Devil Inside and uh, Bug Snacks for the um, what the fuck even was that variety? Um, I know, right? Two very different kinds of weird. Um, like the most interesting one to me in particular, just because 
I I do kind of like really like the whole um, horror aspect hidden behind, you know, really cute aesthetics. So Bugs Snacks is uh, probably the most intriguing of the two. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, more of that. But for um, what I actually looked forward to the most, there was Spider Man Miles Morales. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Drift Apart. I've never actually, I played, um, I can't remember what it was called, but I've only played one Ratchet and Clank game and it was the PSP game. Oh, I, don't know if there oh, was... I know the size matters. Yeah, they, oh, that one too had, I think, Dej, did also, you say you played there, that There one? were two for the PSP, <laughs> by Dawn, by Ready at Dawn, Size Matters and A Secret Agent Clank. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure which one it was, but uh, I wasn't particularly keen, Wait, I remember. Which one were you playing as? Ratchet himself or? Um, Ratchet. Yeah, that matters. But yeah, this looks, um, it looks um, very interesting. I am not sure that I'll, like, there seems to be story sequences. I'm not sure that I'll play any of the previous games, though. I'll probably just look up the lore. Because, you know, it's a nice series, but I've never been as invested in it as I have been similar games. Yeah. And uh, Stray, of course. I mean, it, it it it's catered specifically to me, and I'm very grateful for that. I wouldn't be surprised if you eventually <laughs> record that for the channel. Oh, gosh. Um, what game? Stray. A Stray. The cat game. <laughs> Cat simulator. Yes. <laughs> In a robot world. Yes, I guess a cat reacting to a post-apocalyptic universe. So Splatoon, but for the adult crowd. Um, uh, well, it's a cat theory. Probably, probably doesn't really care. No, not really. If Judd is anything to go by, no, they do not give a shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, um, Sockboy A Big Adventure looks adorable. I mean, I do love platformers. And it looks uh, very cute. Uh, I did play um, the first Little Big Planet, and it was fun. I know this will be very different, but uh, yeah, it's something to look forward to. Um, Destruction All Stars looks like a fun little uh, multiplayer game. So, um, yeah, that, that one I'd like to see a little bit more of. It's mostly an aesthetics thing. I really like the neon. Uh, and a second. Can a Bridge of the Spirits? That one looks very charming and very interesting. That, uh, uh, as somebody who, um, well, as it was mentioned before, somebody who also really liked Kubo, like this is very, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, I mean, if the premise is what um, Dwibs like imagined it would be, I would be interested in Goodbye Volcano High because if they're really going to do that, oh, we're waiting for our own demise. Oh, I was actually the one who the... suggested that it <laughs> oh, was I basically. Oh, I thought that was Dwibs. Well, okay. no, nah, no, nah, I didn't say that. I was the one who suggested <laughs> oh, okay. that it's probably the dinosaur kids awaiting their extinction. Especially well, I mean, there was a meteorite in the um, in the title logo, so possibly. And they're literally on Volcano High, of all places. I mean, they yeah, might as well. I... They might as well. They might as well call the game "We Like Being Alive." <laughs> <laughs> it's like Majora's Mask, except everyone is going to die, and it's going to be miserable. And... <laughs> But we'll go out yeah, with a if... blaze of glory. The, the closest that the, the articles mention is be described as a cinematic narrative adventure, which can mean anything. Especially in a high school setting. It could even be like a dating sim, I don't know. A but, dating you know... sim with dinosaurs from the Super Mario We Brothers have one with pigeons. Universe. Are you surprised? Yeah. True. But yeah, if that is the premise they're going for, that's something I'd be interested in. Anything else from it, I might maybe not so sure. I mean, it's a pretty game, but it's uh, typically not something I would go for. Ghostwire Tokyo, it was nice to see a lot more from that. Um, still not enough yet because they didn't have a lot to show at E3, I don't think, because I was very early on. But um, yeah, that is one that I have been looking forward to. Would be nice to see a little more. Uh, Resi 8. Um, I mean,. It's a series I've wanted to try but never actually bothered to yet because I do like horror games and. Oh yeah, you probably. It like actually seems. Yeah, it actually seems like something I would like. I've just never gotten around to it yet. 
Pragmata. Which one was that one? The one that we showed with the, the astronaut and the little girl. They already confirmed that it's multi-platinum, so not a PS5 exclusive. I don't know, guys. The last time Capcom sent somebody to the moon, they never came back. <laughs> Um, also, speaking of which Capcom, um, that is nice, but um, just throwing it out there. What about Deep Down? Just, you know. We're still asking, it. what about Mega Man Legends 3? So, Deep Down. Well, no, that's the thing, Java. Deep Down was announced as, you know, an early title for the PS4, and we never heard of it anymore. Oh, that. snap, that's right. Keep in mind that the Capcom has said the steel that the game is not dead yet. So I don't know too. We'll I to think see. I think deep down may be in a shallow grave. Yeah, yeah, very deep down. Continue, Shiri. Yeah, that one looks interesting more so for the fact that it has the weirdness, but we don't really know so much about it. So it's just intriguing really. And Horizon Forbidden West looks gorgeous. I mean also you can swim, which is like that that's probably a weird thing but i actually really like swimming in video games sure you so... said you bought the original horizon how did you end up liking that i actually haven't gone around to playing it yet ah okay you just bought <laughs> it's it in to... it's in the backlog let i'm going through the let me the guess backlog, you just yeah. bought yes. it to stave off the advertisement demons <laughs> Keep it up. worked that's the thing like it I... worked <laughs> like, I, like i said before like i said before Shiroi, uh, i'm like um Unlike other PlayStation IPs, the plot is very politically driven, so I uh, keep that in mind to, to make sure if it's, a, if it's something that, that's personally appeals on, to you. Honest, well, I agree. I honestly think it's explained in a very simple way, oh, so it is. it's something too confusing. It is, too. It's just that, you know, like, uh, the whole emotional thrust arc type of thing is what most people uh, are appealed to, you know, so... Um, you, you can know, pretty what... much gloss over the politics and what I recall in playing that, and there's still. I doubt much... it. It's uh, it's complicated. We don't it spoil too much. They are they are present, but uh, the focus shifts onto something else, and the, the internal politics uh, are like still relevant, but clearly on a second level. Yeah, over so what's what going on near the end. Why would that even be an issue? Well, it, it really it, shouldn't it, be, honestly. Yeah. Uh, the reason I'm saying it is because like uh, you won't get some like a big dramatic emotional tear jerking moment in Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, no, that, that that kind of. But thing I just don't know. I just don't know why that would that that would imply that I'm put off by political stuff. Uh, I'm not saying. I'm just. Wondering. I am I'm, very I'm just... loud. <laughs> Damn you know. straight. Fine, then. <laughs> I'm no. just trying to. No, no, uh... I, I understand. Thank you, but it it should be fine, honestly. Um, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This was a very good showcase. Hopefully Microsoft can bring about the same in a in a month. Is it a month? Yeah. And, um, much. Yeah, a month. A month for now. Yes. Um looking forward to that I guess. And uh who's next? I'll go next. Uh, can, I, can, well... I, can I just add one quick thing that I forgot to Oh sure. About? Don't worry, don't worry, I'll be quick. Um uh first uh, f first off uh, yeah, what you were just said, like, um, they need, they can't just rely on all that piece. They need to announce something new for the first time in, five, in six fucking years. But aside from that, I will, uh, one thing I would also like to add about, like, when Herman Hulse was announced to be the new head of Worldwide Studios, I thought it was really cool because, don't worry, I'll be quick. Because one thing that I really appreciated about him making, uh, to, to go back to Killzone real quick, the reason he the, their first game was Killzone is because Sony at the time had no first person shooter on their lineup. And then the reason they made Horizon Zero Dawn later is because at the time, Sony didn't have uh, open world RPGs in their first party lineup. So Armand Hulse is a guy who values, you know, okay, there's some, what is missing here? Let's make something that is, that can add to this. And I get the feeling the reason we got so much variety in this story is probably because of him, because the guy clearly likes, um, Variety and adding stuff that's maybe maybe he was thinking, okay, we have no cartoon platformers, at least not traditional ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get Sumo Digital to make a Sackboy game. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that game was a result of him. So I'm, def I'm, I'm really looking forward to Roman Hulse's reign as the head of Overwatch Studios because I really am a big fan of the, 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 guy, the way he thinks. 
So, yeah, there's cool. definitely there was definitely a paradigm shift in how they've managed stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, Sony did pretty good with the PS4, but they still had some of that stigma from the PS3 era, you know, complete with the hubris and pretty much mm-hmm. figuring, hey, we could pretty much put on anything, and of course they'll laugh it up. No, this felt like an actual honest effort, like the best effort we've had since the PS2 era. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, like uh, I'm a big fan of Herman Holst's way of thinking. So, uh, so when I when he was nominated for the, as the head, head as well, so, yeah, that's actually a very good pick to replace Sean Layden because I really like his way of thinking. And and yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Sack we have him to thank for Sackboy's existence. Uh, Sackboy Adventure. I forgot the name of it. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm really really looking forward to Herm, what Herman has in store for us in the future. Anyway, that's about me. I'm done. Oh yeah, so first up, there was GTA V. They weren't really clear on if that's a port or if it's just that, oh, if you own the game already and, you know, yeah, play it on the PS5, you'll get, like, free online. Then, well, well, I, I have the game. <laughs> again, again, again. They weren't clear if it's a port or a thing. Like, there are two things we don't yet know about the PS5. It's price or it's backwards compatibility capabilities. Just weird. Those were two things that were expected to be talked about. Well, well, we know it's we know it's backwards compatible with most PS4 games. That actually they did say in an interview. Mm-hmm. The thing is that they still haven't been specific. Yeah, so. so we don't know if it's gonna be a case like the Xbox One, or if it's gonna be a case more like you know how the PS2 was to the PS1. We'll just well, have to wait like and see. A- well, as like I said before, I've got my doubts in the case of PlayStation because all their other games, so all their other consoles, were done with very different architectures. I'm not sure if it's going to be easy to emulate them all, especially the PS3. The only one that would be a real issue is definitely the PS3 because that one is Alienware. But, okay, so there was that. And then after that, we get a spectacular look at the new Spider-Man game starring Miles Morales. As someone who really enjoyed playing the first Marvel Spider-Man game, this one looks like a nice follow-up. They're not exactly clear how much of a sequel this will be to the first one story-wise, but judging by the narration, I'm guessing Peter Parker will still be mentoring Miles in some shape or form. (laughs) So yeah, it looks pretty neat and fun and spiffy. Then there was the Gran Turismo game. Uh, a very nice gameplay showing, you know. It's Gran Turismo, but in higher definition. Ooh. Next up was a very nice surprise here. Now, as someone who was disappointed with how Ratchet and Clank, the PS4 reimagining, worked, and also how it played, too, I like how this one looks like a better tap into, you know, classic Ratchet and Clank gameplay and story-wise here. It looks a lot more interesting. The visuals are nice. Also, it's got a bit of that Bioshock Infinite edge to it. Where, you know, you have the interdimensional world gameplay of sorts. And possibly a hinting at us seeing alternate worlds, realities, and timelines here. Good stuff. Then after that was Project Afia, which will apparently be a Square Enix exclusive. It's a thing. It's a thing. Looks a bit like Final Fantasy XV. It's a thing. It's PS5 exclusive. It's a thing. Thing. Next up uh, is uh, Stray, which I'm sure Shiro is looking forward to a lot. I think I've made that clear. Yeah, you know, being able to play as a cat. That looks neat. Next up, we got to look at some of the PS5 hardware, you know, if it's adaptive triggers, ray tracing, built-in microphone, 3D audio, and motion sensor. So yeah, hopefully it'll be something better than the 6-axis. Next up, there was that weird game about a woman who crashes on an alien planet. Uh, I forget the what. one that Talsmark is making. Yeah, I forget. Did they say the name for it? Yes, uh, Re- Returnal, Eternal, something oh, like that. Oh, Returnal, right. <laughs> what a weird name. Next up came Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Something for the cartoony platformer here, but I'll agree, Pedro. It definitely looks like a better sell than Knack. Granted, for those who are a bit put off by Little Big Adventure Free, this may be a bit of a hard sell, but hey, if it turns out to be good, surely they'll get some uh, good players in for that. 
Next up was uh, Destruction All-Stars, which basically, if you ask me, it looks like Twisted Metal meets Rocket League, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, the designs aren't as memorable as they could be, but hopefully they'll see something to you change our minds here and there on that. Overall, though, the gameplay definitely looks like the biggest sell of it, though. A combination between close quarters on foot gameplay for close quarters combat and driving demolition. Next up was Kenna, Bridge of Spirit, which which looks adorable. It looks like if you mix Kubo with um, Pikmin. So yeah, that looks like an interesting third-person action adventure game. And then there was um, Goodbye Volcano High, which may or may not be about the extinction of the dinosaurs, just in a more humanized setting. Well, hopefully it'll be better than Darling in the Frank, from what I've heard. Franks. Franks. Seriously, people cannot seem to decide how to pronounce that one. Okay, then. Then there was that Oddworld game, which, wow, it being Oddworld already has me interested. So, kudos to there. Then there was Shinji Mikami's Ghostwire Tokyo, which, yeah, as per usual, looks intuitive, looks interesting, and will definitely give you the frills and chills if it carries out properly. Then there was Super Brothers. Seriously, it feels so on the nose akin to Super Mario Brothers. Um, they made... Well, again, it... I, it looks like No Man's Sky, honestly. Like, I know it's called something else, but the way it functions looks so much like No Man's Sky. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Godfall looks very, very interesting. Like, well put together here and there. There was an Annapura game called Solar Ash. And if it turns out to be bad, you has already provided us the nickname to call it by. <laughs> then there was Hitman 3, which, yeah, looks good. From what I've heard, Hitman is in a good spot, so, yeah, I assume it'll be good. Next up came Astrobot, well, Astrobot's Playhouse. However, seemingly it doesn't seem to be a VR experience. Like, I feel like if it was going to be VR, or at least VR exclusive, they probably would have told us by now. Yeah, VR was surprisingly absent in regards to mentions this stream. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, then there was The Little Devil Inside, which looks to be quite the interesting game. Then there was NBA 2K. Of course, it looks beautiful to the point where they rendered the sweat so well-oriented on that regard. And next up, there was Bug Snacks, which at first glance is cute like Octodad, but at last glance looks creepy as all hell. Let's see, you can literally eat yourself, apparently, and then there are apparently beings made out of food waiting to nab and eat you themselves. That's, that's just lovely. So, right then, we thought it was near the end of the show, but nope, they had more. Enter in Demon Souls. The long-awaited remake project that we've been awaiting to hear from Bluepoint Games on. And it looks very good, honestly. And hey, if, if Bluepoint Games' is, uh, track record is anything to go by, this will be the de facto definitive version. Interesting <laughs> that they're always on point with their remakes, huh? Pretty much. Let's see. Uh, after that was Deathloop. Which looks like it'll be an interesting take on the Groundhog group of sorts. Thing. Except it looks like it'll be about a case of trying to see who survives long enough to escape the loop. While killing each other, of course, in the competition. So, that's nice. Then, okay, this is where things got trippy here and there. That Resident Evil commercial... This is kind of this is gonna be the thing that stays with me the most because had trouble discerning that that was a Resident Evil game at first. It looks very much more supernatural than one would expect from Resident Evil of all things. Like holy cow, we have werewolves. Uh, it may or may not have the return of Ethan from Resident Evil Seven. 
But we have Chris Redfield here. It's hard to tell what his role is, but at least, thank God, he actually looks like Chris Redfield instead of whatever that imposter was supposed to be in Resident Evil 7. Seriously, that was... That was whack, yo. Um... Let's see... It was a trend that took place in Times Square. Oh yeah, Pragmata. Again, Capcom. I'm just saying, the last time you sent someone, <coughs> Mega Man Volna, to the moon, he still hasn't come back yet, so... I have my doubts that the protagonists of this game are going to make it off the moon fine. Maybe, but maybe that's where they'll find him. Not going to lie, that would be, a, be a, cute, a cute easter egg. That would actually be a pretty, <laughs> very cool easter egg, especially if it turns oh, out... Less. Unless he's dead. Well, let's just say something about his species kind of makes it that he may be able to survive, but I can't really go into details about the lore of Mega Man Legends right now. Speaking of lore, though, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. That's what I'll be calling it for convenience's sake. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's Horizon <laughs> Zero... Horizon Forbidden West, God gonna have to remember not to say the zero all the time but it looks pretty good Al is back and there's some new mechanical beast specifically the mammoth robots yada 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 okay so after that i don't think there's anything else important to cover oh wait that's right let's talk about the console itself here okay like i said it looks like perfect cell's head just if it went Ultra Instinct, and I guess you could also say it's Seto Kaiba's jacket for most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Um, I think my main worry isn't just about the looks, but the fact that it looks like it'll be a nightmare for processors. Given the rumors that the PS5 did have a heating issue, it does remind me of the 360 a lot. Like, again, the design does look cool, but I am worried on if they'll be able to fit the chips in there well, and God help them, the fans better be well oriented. Um, that said though, the color scheme is nice. Granted, I've never really been bothered by the whole black design thing, if anything because that helps keep out the stains anyway. The PS5 controller, it's a bit of a tough sell for me. Like. I still prefer stuff like the Xbox One or PS4 controllers, or the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, all of which look better designed in this regard, and that D-pad, um, not the best one, I'm not gonna lie. The main problems mechanically for me on that controller are the D-pad and the shoulder triggers, which is weird. Also, the start button does not seem to be there, or, sorry, the, um, home button does not appear to be that evident. Seriously, why does this generation hate the start button? The on button is where it's, I think you're referring to the options button, which was the one that replaced the start button. Yeah. I think there is still an equivalent. I'm going to check in the meantime. Also, in typical Sony fashion, of course they have a special Sony remote for this thing. Yeah, I actually don't know why the remote. I really don't get that either. Like maybe, maybe if, the only practical function I can think of it is an eject disc button. Well, it's like when you're playing DVDs and Blu-rays. Yeah, you, you guys are forgetting that uh, you can use Blu-ray DVDs and Netflix and other stuff on the PS5. It so probably the makes it far easier to go that, through movies than the regular controller. I was actually yeah. about right. to say, maybe that remote is for like casuals who just want to use it as like a glorified... As a Blu-ray player. Well, remember, the, the PS3 controller had a Blu-ray remote and the PS4 had one too, so it makes sense for the PS5 to I host. didn't know that. All right, then. Anyway, so but yeah. I mean, it, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, um, it looks like it can be played horizontally, but I'm wondering how actually functionally it will work horizontally. Like, yeah, it looks good in that photo, which we may or may not show in the thumbnail, but I still have my doubts on how well it'll function. Again, my main worry is if that design will work for the interior design, which means, like, well, how well it'll function with the chips and hopefully not overheat, because those rumors are a bit worrying, like, granted, I'm probably not gonna get this at launch anyway, like, it's sort of one of my models nowadays, is like, well, usually wait out a console, see how it turns out, and maybe sometimes just wait for the better version to come. That said, though, that said, though, presentation-wise, this has been the best Sony's ever done a presentation since E3 of 2016, like, 
I really do mean it. Like, you know, ever since 2016, they were kind of going on a downward trend with their presentations. 2017 was lackluster. 2018 was lame. The state of plays weren't really getting good until, like, um, the one with Resident Evil 3, Kingdom Hearts, and the like. And even still, those got leaked anyway. But this was a nice return to form for Sony. It, it had the variety that, you know, Sony should deliver good on here. It's like Pedro said, I think the change in management really did help Sony a lot. And if this is anything to go off for their future, Sony can definitely say that they will be around for a good while as long as they keep up the good work. Again, I'm a bit worried about how the console design will fare, especially upon the first entries. Like that thing looks like that thing looks like a heating problem just waiting to happen. But I will not deny that I do like that it is trying to go for a unique look. Again, I'm just hoping that performance-wise it doesn't suffer for it. Overall, though, very good presentation. Very well done. The competition in Microsoft will have their work cut out for them to match up with this. I checked the driver. There are the equivalent of the options and uh, share button that we're also on the DualShock 4. We just don't seem to have a proper name. We are presenting instead by uh, small lines. Huh. You can check the image that I sent you. Yep, they're, they're all right. A bit hard to see, though. But yeah, they're, they are there. Anyway. Anyway, that uh, wasn't too long. Dead. Oh, God, it's my turn? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm impressed. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting much to yeah. begin with. Because I just thought, it's not like E3 2015 or 16 where it's like, ah! This one was just, yeah. You, did, you showed off the console, you showed off the games, and... Yeah, I can't say I'm disappointed. I'm not interested in everything that's being shown, but I really am interested in that Spider-Man game. <laughs> yeah. Ratchet and Clank looks beautiful, but uh, I beat the PS4 game a few days ago. Uh, I forgot if I mentioned this already to you, Dej. If you have a PS3, get the trilogy HD, uh, you know, remaster for it. I already uh, So I'll get to give play it, give, it a, give it a try. The pro but like everyone keeps telling me, oh the story, the gameplay is good, but the story is bad. It's like they I wasn't enjoying the game. Honestly, like honestly, I would say the gameplay is not that great either. Honestly, in no. that it, in that it's not well, the it's not the best representation either. Like definitely try playing the classic. Like the uh, okay, let, let me let me put. I, I'm trying to like explain it in a way that maybe Shiro might get me. You know how in Splatoon, when you're shooting your enemies, it feels like you're making an impact? Yeah. Yes. I don't get that when I'm playing Ratchet. Fair it's enough, cool. yeah. They're just standing there, and I'm still, and they're, yet they're um, immune to it, and then I get hit and die. I was like, uh. I would definitely say that's more a problem with the PS4 imagining than any of the other games in the series. Like, exploring was okay, platforming is fine, but, like, the real meat in the bones, which is the shooting, it's like, wow, this is not good. Especially when they hoard you of a whole bunch of enemies. And it's like, what, 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 what is balancing? But hopefully this one looks, is better. Visually, it looks like a step up, and I'm surprised that they were able to go beyond with that. Hopefully it fixes my problems with who knows? Here's hoping. What else? Uh, Contra yeah, I was in. I'm like, okay, and different. It's a Square Enix game, so so CGI trailer, no gameplay, don't care. Stray, is that the Shinji Mikami game? No, no, no cat, that's the, the one where you game. play as a cat. Oh, oh. well, that's that looks like Shiro's game, so it looks yeah. fine. <laughs> Destruction All Stars. That looks fun. I'm interested in it. Then they showed off Mario on PS4. I mean, Sackboy Big Adventure. <laughs> uh. it's, it's, it's just Super Mario 3D World. <laughs> I like Super Mario 3D. Yeah, that's that's a good. Thing. I'm not too 100% sold on this one because 
from what I've noticed, Sumo has been spreading its talent with so many games. Like they had, uh, what was that one Xbox game, Xbox One game they had released? Crackdown. Free? Crackdown Free. Yeah, well, that's the free. Thing. Thing. Well, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing, Dad. You have to understand, Crackdown Free is a very special case because it it switched developers throughout its development cycle, and Sumo Digital was brought in in the later years to try to salvage the game. They were basically trying to salvage a sinking ship, so you have to give them a, a bit of slack on that, I can tell you. that. Trust me, that develop, that game in particular is an entire weird can of worms, I can tell you that. Then there was also Team Sonic Racing, as well as like... Uh... That game was good, but it didn't have the oh. constant content to bring it up to par. Oh, I'm still... I... Sorry, go ahead. I have a lot of issues with that game, but well, well, that's another discussion. Right Hopefully, this one is a game that they'll bounce back in quality. So, oh yeah, aren't they also working on Dead Island too? Support no, they passed it to another team again. That uh, Deep yeah, Silver no just doesn't know what the fuck to do with the franchise anymore. It's like Deep Silver is a terrible company. Oops. Yep. <laughs> Oddworld looks cool. I've never played any of it, but I have been interested in it. Oh, ho, ho. there's quite a rich, humorous world in Oddworld, my friend. Is this supposed to be the sequel or remake of Abe's Odyssey? Okay. It's a remake of the second game. All right. Kenna, uh, that that looks cute. Visually good. Kind of reminds me of. Pikmin in a bit because of those mm-hmm. tiny little creatures that follow you around. Mm-hmm. But uh, since you look more efficient than Olimar, so that helps. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm just looking at the trailer right now. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is beautiful. Uh, What's next? Goodbye, Volcano. I'm indifferent towards it. Ghostwire Tokyo, indifferent. Jet, it looks fine. Godfall, I w- I really wish they chose the, uh, <coughs> sorry, a different song because that song just ruined any interest I had with that trailer. Was it the melodrama of it? No, no, no. It was just the the me- the song didn't fit what was going on. Hmm. It felt like that one Assassin's Creed trailer where it's, hey, he played Everybody Wants to Rule the World. <laughs> I see what you mean. The NBA 2K, it's a sports game. Gran Turismo, I stopped caring after four. Solar Ash, never played a Hyperlight Drifter, so I have no opinion. Demon Souls looks interesting. Happy for Pedro and Tio, because I know that they're from Soft Fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Re- Resident Evil. <laughs> eight. No, Resident Eight Village. Resident Village Eight <laughs> thing. Seriously, <laughs> if we keep going, if we keep going like eight, this, what we call Resident eight. Evil Nine, Resident Evil Ixion or something. It's so basically, so basically, we have Resident Evil Age. This is like the fan four stick of video games. Please stop. <laughs> No, in terms of the title <laughs> structure, fantastic. I mean specifically yeah, yeah. the title structure. That's fantastic. <laughs> I haven't you got, seen you that, got that out of your I've system, Deji? <laughs> every, every clip I have seen of that movie hurts me. Oh, oh it, it is a terrible movie. <laughs> um, Deathloop. I like the concept of it. But it's Bethesda, so you never know. Like I said, be <laughs> on guard and pray that Bethesda don't screw this up. Little devil inside. Okay. I don't get what's going on. Because it's like, what you're yeah, doing like... between that one old guy, it's like, what's going on? Hmm... Is this like Osmosis Jones where you're inside that guy's body or something? <laughs> I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm honestly confused. Breath of the Wild 2? Hey, that's, that's <laughs> good for you guys. Yeah, the, the, 
So supposedly for now at least this one doesn't have to compete with anything unless Nintendo wants to be cute and release uh, the Breath of the Wild sequel at the same time. Oh, just for kicks, wouldn't so. that be nice? Just like that's their older thing. siblings. That's just, a, that's just a thing, Deji. As a, as a long-time Zelda fan who grew up with the series, I far prefer Horizon Zero Dawn over Breath of the Wild any day. But again, that's a topic for another day. I, I'm just terrible at that series. I don't know why. Sure, sure, sure. Even though it's like the most, it's one of the series that even casuals get into. I don't know why I suck at it. But right. Do you have a, a Wii U or a Wii U? Yes, uh, I have a Wii U. I, I, I actually that was the one game I enjoyed, but uh, uh, my TV was it, working and I didn't really want to go back to it because the sure, Wii U. Sure, sure. I'm just saying that because uh, you can in those you can get for the Virtual Console Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. That's the game that was co-directed by Koizumi, and we and you know how. You know, gotta have some Koizumi in our lives. So, and he also wrote the story. So, uh, we'll Go talk ahead. about that later. All right. Uh, Bug Snack. I'm not gonna lie. Initially, I thought that Platonic was working on this. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, the googly eyes were uh, very much a rare thing. Ah. Uh, eh, uh... It's made by the same people who made Octodad, so mm -hmm. it might be enjoyable. Good for YouTubers, at least. Astro's Playroom? Astro I heard that the first one was really good, but I don't want to buy a VR headset at all. I'm wondering if this will require a VR headset, because like I said, no VR was mentioned this entire presentation, so maybe it won't require it. Maybe it's their way of trying to expand the Astrolab uh, fan base. Maybe oh. it's just a case of everything over here, yeah, sorry, everything that was featured here could be played as standard, but there may be some that you can also play with VR. That's my guess. I think if it was VR exclusive, they would have specified. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, Deji. Hitman. Yeah, I've never played a Hitman game. My only exposure to Hitman was that stupid movie that we saw. Uh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't. Uh, get it. The, the other movie was not better. That you believe me? Okay. Pragmanta. Hey, it's a new Capcom IP. Yay! What? Hopefully, this one won't get abandoned by the wayside like Darkstalkers. Actually, oh, Joe, uh, Darkstalkers true. actually got some games. Again, the comparison idea will be deep down. Announced at the beginning of a generation, console generation. Yeah. We'll have to see if this one actually materializes. Why, yes, do you? Of course, Darkstalkers got games. The Marvel vs. Capcom games. <laughs> sure. Go on, Deji. Uh, th my, I think my biggest complaint is we don't know a lot of when these games are coming out. So it's just like, yeah, this is cool, but it's hard we to have, get excited. Some of them we have like an indication. Like, only a few of them actually release like it at the end of the year. Pragmata, I see it, it says 2022. Yeah, it's way yeah. later on the line. January is, 21. Is there a chance that we might get another Sony presentation that clarifies on stuff? Most most likely we'll get um, potentially more state of plays that just clarifies on there's, it. To be fair, with this presentation, there's a lot of meat added to the pile that... Uh, just need to be, you know, trimmed and cataloged properly. The so uh, get, I can definitely imagine we are getting like state of plays before the end of the year, telling like, oh, this game is coming in a more approximate way. Like I said, the weirdest thing was that we still didn't get a price point or a clarification on how backwards compatibility will be working with the system, which well, were actually, things that people were expecting. Well, the, Sony. To be fair, Sony did explain that in the PlayStation blog. Let me quickly get that. Well, again, like... again, not a clear confirmation or you know clarification on the entirety of it. Like we have the basic outline, but they've kind of been they haven't given like a completely definitive statement, is what I mean. Actually, they have. Let me get it so I can do a little... keep going. Resident Evil Eight is twenty twenty one. Solar Ash twenty twenty one. Mainly years given. Godfall is this year. And I still wonder if some of these titles actually had proper release dates, but now they've been more uncertain because of what has happened in 2020 so far. So they want to just, you know, 
test the water and, and, see, and but even, see. But even so, I think that's just an E3 problem. Like, look at all these games. So, some of them won't be here within two or three years, maybe longer. Mm -hmm. I just found it. Uh, basically, it says right here on the PlayStation blog. Uh, the, the, basically, they were saying that uh, basically the the one the hundred most played games on the PS4 those will be getting um, pa enhancement patches for the PS5. However, they're they're making significant. And I'm quoting right now: We've devoted significant efforts to enable our fans to play their favorites on PS5. We believe that the overwhelming majority of the 4,000 plus PS4 titles will be playable on PS5. So basically, the majority of them of will be uh, 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 playable at launch, and they will keep adding more as it goes on. Well, true, yeah, but do they mean that like in the backwards compatibility sense? Yeah, or... so maybe they mean that. Yes, that's yeah. why it's threatened right there. Actually. What we don't know still is the price tag, but I guess we'll learn later on. All Come right, on, there's anything else? Yeah, hey, I'm excited for the PS4. I just hope like the future will be looking bright. Mm hmm. I hope, I hope we'll have a Sonic game that looks as good as the Russia and Clank game. <laughs> we, we, we need our uh, Sonics. <laughs> I mean, people I are weird. You, you, you are forgetting one thing, though, Deji. We did not get an announcement of the of a PSP Micro. Where is my PSP Micro? PSP. We don't, we don't now. Let's oh, go. God! The, those stupid <laughs> Micro cards! No, 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 no! I was just taking a jab at the Game Gear Micro. Don't. don't yeah, worry. have you seen how itty bitty that thing is? It's the size of a Joy-Con. Listen, that the, the Game uh, Gear was so huge to begin with. Anything smaller than that is a mini. Why right, do they need right. to go that small? All right, yeah, you, children, yeah, we yeah, have dragged yeah, sure. these too long enough. So, <laughs> hope people in the future are watching this. Uh, hopefully, the console will turn out for the better, and these titles that we have been seeing are amazing. Tune in for whatever review is going to be next, either State of Play or another one of these. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.